every uh, five people looks like there's three or four flags. It's pretty crazy. Almost everyone has a flag over there. Oh, they're showing the stadium. The Stadio Romagnoli. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Marco, you think... Uh, well, Marco's not going to see it, but I want to see uh, Matt and Nicola, too. Hopefully, they show them a little bit. It'll be good. The announcers are already getting, uh, already getting ready over here. And less than f uh, five minutes till the game starts, guys. Almost there. Some score predictions, guys. What do you what do you guys think for some score predictions? Marco said 6-3 Campo Basso. That would be nice. Six goals. Ha. Huh. Hopefully they keep a clean sheet. No, uh, Elsa, we actually don't have family in Molise. But ever since we started doing this with Campo Basso, there's been a lot of people that we found out their families are from Molise, which is pretty insane. There's a lot of people uh, there that we didn't even know. And um, it's it's pretty crazy. I think the Ca yeah DiCaprio's family is actually from there, which is also <laughs> insane. You know when you find something out about uh, like a region or something, and then all of a sudden everyone's like, oh, I'm from there. My family's from there. I feel like this is the same kind of uh, effect over there. But we all know the people are so so passionate over there, and they've been wanting a uh, promotion for you know the longest time. So I can't wait for this to happen. Nathan said, let's go. It feels the same way when I woke up early for the Milan-Atalanta game. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting those vibes over here, too. Getting all excited and stuff. So, yeah. 2-0 two, two from Dale Campobasso. Uh, no, relation from Italy. Marco's uh, family is from Italy. I'm Greek, actually. My, uh, But uh, m we don't have any. There's no ties from Molise from, from IFTV. 3-1 Campo Basso from Nathan over here. Oh, look, they're going over to the fans. Look at this. Beautiful. Hey, what's the wrong one? How did it go to? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I saw it was a different. Oh, I didn't do the event thing. 4 1 Campasso from Giuliano. Bro, these guys know Tedesco are a joke, man. How the hell don't they have their. It How don't go, they have the stream the on, bro? Go up yet? Yo, if you're a fan of the no, it didn't go up. I've been refreshing. I, I'm just gonna refresh from from my computer. It's probably gonna do it when it starts. Bro, but how, man? How? Yeah, I don't know. How are you supposed to watch your team play? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't understand that. Let's... We want promotion today. Today. Uh, for those asking where everybody else is, Antonio has a game for his Combo Basso team. For Combo Basso USA. Combo Basso USA. So hopefully they both win today, right? Maybe not Antonio's team. <laughs> I, I would be okay if they didn't win. It w wouldn't be the end of the world for me. Uh, the other one, the, this Combo Basso, yes, yes, yes. Just not Antonio's team. Otherwise, he gets too happy. So maybe maybe we'll get him strolling in uh, a little bit later. Maybe, hopefully. Uh, that's what we're thinking. My dad, too. My dad, as well. Uh, he's got a he's got a game too. He's not playing against Kamen Basso yet, but he is on a rival team, so we don't support that guy's team. In a week, I think they play. And next week, I believe so. Well, the only problem with this is that the schedule keeps getting pushed back for Kamen Basso. So if they don't clinch it today, then they have to wait like another like two weeks. Yeah, because things like the twenty something. Because a break, right? Yeah. Also, who has watched the uh, episode one? Let us know if you watched episode one of uh, of Underdogs of our docu series. The team is in Italy right now filming. Might be some of I'm trying to look for our videographer. Uh our boy Joe. I don't see I don't I don't think I see him yet. Oh, yeah. But he's there filming right now. I saw some of the shots oh, for episode cool. two. It already started looking really, really, really dope. So I can't wait. So I can't if you wait. You guys like episode one? Get ready. Yeah, episode two is gonna be way better. Cause especially if they clinch it on now, like we have the film crew that's there right now. How crazy is that? That's amazing. It's so cool. It's so cool. We do have the starting lineup, and I wanna, I'll want to i go through some of the guys that you got to watch out for in case anyone's new over here or you haven't watched before. 
maybe that is Joe. That's Joe right there with the backpack, with the big backpack. I'm is pretty that? sure that's Joe. Yeah, I can't see as well from over here, but I'm pretty sure it's him. He's got a big camera. Yo, we we don't mess around. Yeah, yeah. We don't no, mess no. around with this camera. No, that's no. awesome. That's amazing. All right, perfect. Hopefully the fans are just going crazy, especially outside the stadium. Oh, yeah. And I know what's really cool, and this is just like some behind the scenes in case anybody anybody cares about that. What's really cool is like we've already been planning like if they do win, where's the shot has to go to next. So he's got to run. Our videographer's got to run to the piazza to be able to Damn. catch a celebration. So he's got to go is, quick. This guy has to take a quick Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone will drive you. At this point, everybody's going to yeah, become family. True. You just hop on the back of a car. So uh, number 11 is Vitali, who's a really good player. He's a young kid. I think he's like 18 or 19 years old. He's really talented. Rossetti is... Uh, actually, I don't know if this is going in order. That I don't think that's their number. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Rossetti's number 10? No, no way. They're all yeah, why is a number like no, that? No way. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I know Cogliatti is number nine. Who's the goal scorer? He's their big number nine for Cogliatti. Cogliatti. Some good players. There's some good players. They got to go out and win. Whoever's there, they got to go out and win. This team is not very good, right? The team that we're playing? Uh, I don't think so. You want to check the standings that they have? Yeah, I'll check. I'll check who. Uh, I'll check what standing these these guys are in. Oh, this is gonna start any second now, guys. I gotta put the timer on. And for those that don't know, Kamabasso is a, a team that we've been following, a team that we've been working with with an American ownership over here in New York, and we we're helping them, you know, build their story and tell their narrative. All right, this team is in dead last place. Oh wow. Okay. Porto. Yeah, they have ten points. It says they're in last place. These teams got wild names, by the way. <laughs> Crazy names. <laughs> They're long, right? Seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Here okay, we go. Kickoff started. has started. So, Kamabaso is a, a, a team from the from the lower leagues. They're in Serie D that we've been following. And, and they they're really they represent a, a great community in Italy. Of really, like, what we've been pushing is the underdog story. A team that really deserves to, to get to the top. And we're trying to be able to follow their journey follow their journey together and document it all. And this could be the first piece of history is getting to Serie C. Starting in Serie D, really dominating this league altogether. They're in first place. And hopefully today, again, they just need Notaresco to not win and they'll be able to get promoted and go to the next go to the next league and then hopefully just keep moving up from there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use this, guys. Listen, we're we're watching the game. Of course, we're gonna keep you updated on this, but we're gonna talk about everything. We'll we'll talk about Italy in the Euros. We'll talk about some of the transfer market. We're gonna do. Oh, oh my gosh, big shot from from them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about everything. We're yeah, gonna talk about the transfer market. We're gonna talk about the new coaching merry-go-round. But also just keep you updated and hopefully be here to document. I can't believe that they are still not live, no Tedesco. They probably don't even want to. They're like, yo, we better not stream in case we in case we lose. I would I would have thought like 10, 10, 15 minutes before they'll you know start live how Campo Basso was doing it. Yeah, it's and normal. The and the game started. It's normal. Yet. My man Giuseppe is in the chat right now. Says Forza Campo Basso. Yeah. So they're at, you guys are asking. I, I say, how did you discover this team? So the owner of the team is uh, Maritzetta with uh, Nicola Cirincione as the director. They follow IFTV. They were following IFTV. They reached out to us since they have an office down in uh, Soho in New York City, and we're, which is very close to us. They came for a podcast, which I can link in the description. I'll, I'll link the podcast that we first filmed. Mm -hmm. It was a great conversation where even a lot of the people, a lot of you guys really just enjoyed what Matt was saying, why he bought the team, his story, his upbringing, how he went from no money to really successful entrepreneur, and then wanted to go back and buy a team in uh, in Italy kinda, to give back to his family. Kind of repay and uh, and yeah, from there, from there, once we saw the reaction from some from some of the IFTV fans, we we're able to make a deal and and uh, become a media partner of the team. So we got a lot of fun stuff. We got that documentary series. We do a lot of live streams. I'm gonna pop the link in the chat right now of the first podcast that we filmed together. This is the first time that we had uh, we had met the new ownership. It was a great conversation too. There. Great guys, obviously. We knew Nicola a little bit earlier, of course. 
But uh, the the journey was so amazing, man, and so ho from humble be beginnings, you know, working hard, it's just incredible. And now he wants to, you know, obviously make a Campo Boss the best it could be. So already a great star from since uh, he had ownership of it. Yeah, I think these guys know what Tedesco are like. You know what? We're we're not even gonna. It's still not. It's still, no, it's, it's not, not live. Enough, right? It's not live. Yeah. Campo Boss in City D in twenty twenty four. It's, that's very ambitious. That's very ambitious. I would say, listen, you know, Serie you a. you have to slowly in city. You said Serie D. Serie D. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> Serie A. Serie A. I'm sorry. For me, you know, you take it slowly and you gradually build. I never personally, it's just a personal opinion of mine. I don't love when you know. Uh, and now this is uh, this is completely opposite from from Matt. But you know, we get some ownerships in Italy that. They come in and they're like, oh, we're going to go in Champions League in three years or we're going to win the Scudetto in two years. You know, we saw it in Rome. We saw it in a lot of different places. And I feel like when you set those expectations so high, mm -hmm. you just, you're just setting yourself up for failure That's because true. it's not realistic. It's more so just like, oh, I want to win the fans over short term. So let me just make a promise and then figure out later how to do it. Whereas the, Matt and, and their North Six Agencies group has been the opposite. They've more been more, more like we want to steadily build and, and gradually build up. Gotta, Obviously, with the hope of getting to Serie A. A realistic project at the end of the day. You can't just say, oh, we think, you know, we're going to get consecutive uh, back to back to back promotions and stuff. Things You're going to struggle. Of, a lot, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of struggle. A lot of things take time. There's going to be a lot of failures. But, you know, you learn from it. It's, it's only natural, you know. All these teams had to, you know, fight for that. Come on. Yeah, guys, I know. I know. We said everyone was supposed to be here. They they had a game. They Antonio pulled up with the with the game. He plays over fifty. He plays for the Camabasso men's team. The over fifty here in uh, in New York. So so that's why he wasn't able to. He wasn't he wasn't able to to come right now. There. They're playing the same time, right? You think? Yeah, About yeah. Ten o'clock. Yeah, literally the same yeah. time. They got to organize those games better. They should yeah. go around Camabasso's schedule. To be honest, it's you right. You have a point. right. Yeah. It's freaking Antonio. And knowing Antonio, he's the one who, like, organized it. <laughs> I want to be surprised. Oh! Ooh. A goal kick. I'm just refreshing their Facebook page. Still nothing, dude? Nothing, bro. Yeah. And when they, when they stream, I, I love that word. Yo, uh, it would be really fun. It would be fun if we created beefs with, like, the other teams. Like, not, not the, not Kamabasa, like us. Because we kind of can get away with it a little bit. That's just true. for some fun. Yeah. Or, like, the other fan bases, like, a little bit. You know? We, like, we, just... We can Tweet Notares would be like, yo, you guys playing? I was like, I still don't see the feed. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, have you ever seen their, their game? It's like literally yeah. recorded on a cell phone. <laughs> nah, bro, it's like it's like my dad when he used to like, you know, come to like my high school game and he starts yeah. recording on his phone. And sometimes like he's he gets caught. You it's, know what happens? It's on selfie mode. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that bad. Not that bad. But he's like, you know, when when uh, a non-skilled camera person is like recording something yeah. and then he, they're like watching the game and, then the phone's like and the out. phone is, is like pointing on blank field. And then, like two seconds later, they, they, they yeah, like yeah. pan it back. Yeah. That's some shit that my dad it's would like do. like showing your shoes or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have it before. That's funny. What's cool is like Sadie Chi. When you get to Sadie Chi, there's some good teams. Oh, yeah. There's Sadie Chi is competitive. Oh, for sure. There's a lot of teams too that we know also. And you guys know, obviously. Joey, uh, Campo Basso not only have to win to get promoted to Sadie Chi, but Notaresco, who are still waiting for the stream, have to drop points. And if that, if those, if those, both those results happen, then mathematically Campo Basso are in Sadie Chi. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, Campo Basso with a chance. So Juventus U23 is in Serie C, Novara, Piacenza, Livorno. Let's see who else we got. Bari. Bari oh my gosh! Can you imagine Bari Palermo. against Palermo, Catania? Poggia. These are tough teams. No, yeah, of course. These are tough sure. teams. They're These really are Serie A teams. And I mean, are they by two groups there? Yeah, there's three. It All looks three. like group. Three groups. Yeah. Yeah, so there's some big there's some big boys uh for next season for sure. Catania, Palermo, Body, those are all like Serie A teams. They yeah. used to be Serie A teams. Exactly. Palermo versus Cambasso is gonna be so fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be crazy because I know we got a lot of people from the chat that are from Palermo. And even my dad is from right near Palermo from region, Trapani. Right? So it'll be really funny. And same thing like Anto, Body versus Cambasso. What's he gonna do? It's like when it's like <laughs> when Body explode. played Milan. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah. know what to do. And he's uh, such a good guy too that like you know
He'll he'll probably be rooting for Kamabasa, honestly. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I mean, he should. I guess he would have. Oh, wow. They're putting tweets on the thing? Is that what it was? No, I don't think it was. Right. No? Mm-hmm. I thought it was like a... Free kick outside the box for Kamabasa right now. Send the ball in. Ooh. Hits the wall. Avelino's in the playoffs. Oh! Shoot! Oh! Oh, oh, just wow. over the bar. Kamabasa was a big chance right Damn. there. <laughs> Adrian Zocali, 11.30 p.m. in Australia. Work tomorrow, owl. Oh, well, no worries, bro. Kamabasa first. Kamabasa all the way. <laughs> oh, my dad texted. Let's see. What do you say? He asked, uh, he asked what's happening. Yeah, guys, you guys can watch here. We have the link in the in the description below. So just click the link. It'll bring you to the YouTube uh, channel where they're streaming it live. So definitely check that out. I have the other score, by the way, uh, over here. Other score oh, of the, the other, other game, just oh, in did case. You check the stream. Excuse me. Did the stream go? Did you check? No, it didn't go. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. All I right. don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna they happen. They ran out of their phone battery there, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen, but whatever. We have the other score. They're zero zero, so at this point, if that stayed, Kambasa would need a would need a win, win, and then they go to Serie C. Yeah, Juventus. Juventus is in Serie C, the U twenty three team. Ooh. What about the other team? Maybe the other team is streaming it. No way, right? I mean, Notarez was a second place team. The other teams is definitely not higher than them. You know what I'm saying? So, what are the chances? Yeah, nah. <laughs> we're, the only nah hey, we're the only thing that comes up for Notarez. Imagine someone in Molise trying to find the game. They see that. And they, don't want, they don't follow us. Oh, oh wow! big save! Almost, Kamabasso Kamp- nearly scored. Kamabasso almost opened the scoring there. Whoo! Are we part owners now? We're not owners. We just work with the team. We work yeah. with the team. We're trying to spread their story to everybody. We we thought that was a very interesting story. We had an opportunity where we'll be able to document really from the ground up, which honestly has never been done before. I think the the idea of of being able to follow a team from start to finish uh, on online never been done, and that kind of like motivated us. We're like Five TV. It was yeah. like wow, if we could like. Okay, forget about today. It doesn't matter that they're in City of Chi. It doesn't matter uh, they're in City of D. It doesn't matter that they're going to go to City of D. What we're thinking is five to ten years from now. Ten years from now, how cool will it be to watch this footage of us watching the team go to City of Chi? Oh, yeah. When they get to City A, exactly. God willing, how cool is it going to be to watch back this entire process? Damn. We have a jersey that's going to be released next month that's with right. the team. We've shown how we're building the jersey. They have a merchandising line that we just designed as well that's coming out, which I know, I, I don't know, maybe we could, we, we could be able to show some of the designs. And there's so many other people that we can't say, but that are going to be associated with this club too. Yeah. Like top, top people over here. It's gonna be, no, no, I'm just saying. Like it's, it's Some a big huge, people coming into I'm this club. I'm just saying it's such a huge project. And, you know, already starting from Serie D, imagine, in a, like you said, in a few years, how much bigger this could be. And. Holding the Champions League trophy, right? In, uh-huh. 20, in 20 years from yeah, now. Yeah, right? listen, listen. Uh, now. But, but could you imagine, though? Imagine they do go to that stage, and then you're watching from Serie D, and you have all that footage, dude. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? There we go. Come. Oh! With another yeah, they're pushing, right man. They're pushing. I still oh! Just... Whoa, dude, I thought that went in. There was a big deflection. I thought that went in. Whoo. Yeah, the documentary is on our uh, YouTube page. If you go on YouTube, I think Marco Khan did it before uh, for the first episode. I'll pop it again. That's for Chris that's asking. Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, Rosetti hits a wide. Yeah, they're wow. pushing. They're pushing. It still says 0 0 for Notaresco, by the way. I'll, I'll comment the uh, the link to the episode one of the documentary. Uh, like I said, they're filming episode two right now. We just 
I think we've seen our uh, videographer that's on the ground over there. Shout out Joe. That's uh. That's over there repping. Repping. All right, I'm commenting the link right now. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this guy side of Folky. Hope Whoa. they don't get promoted. I want to see Mike suffer. It's my favorite thing. You I mean, see Mike's, what, what Flo, the, we agree what, on the Mike suffering part, but not the not the common boss so far. What? Trust me, Mike. Mike, we can make Mike suffer in other ways. That's fucking evil, bro. <laughs> suffer. Ah, a not little just, bit, bro. Not just a sad, little bit. But suffer. Suffer a is like a bit. different word. A little bit, bro. Damn, that's just mean. Yeah, Italy versus Turkey is coming up soon too. Oh boy, it's a little stoppage. One second, guys. Let me press the screen. Yeah, the Euros kick off on Friday. Oh, my gosh. My gosh, it'll be. No, I think you're. I, I think it's not us. I don't think it's an us problem, Mike. No? No, it's not. I'm checking the comments. I got it over here. It's not us problem. You see, this is what we get. This is re this is their revenge for us making fun of Notaresco. <laughs> this is what we get. We're making fun of them. All right, instead of cheese, this shit's going to be better. Don't worry. <laughs> She's going to be way better, all right? There's going to be nothing, nothing of this. Mike. Yeah. What's there's no that? grease. Oh, they're going back. Well, there's no grease in the Euros. No, unfortunately, there's no grease in the Euros. So the you, Euros. I mean, I don't know if we could call you completely unbiased, but how do you feel about the Euros coming up? Are you excited? Who are you rooting for? What's your prediction? Let's get let's get that out of the way right Man, now. Man, whenever we're burning the Euros, I try to forget that grease is in there. Isn't in it because it kind of hurts. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, I'm obviously going uh, for that Zuri, of course. How do you feel going into this? Like I said, yo, a lot of people are over over uh, estimating that Zuri. I feel like everyone's saying, oh, we got a good team. We got, yo, there's fucking, there's Germany, there's France, there's Portugal, that's Spain that I think are honestly that are better than. Italy right now, I think realistically best case scenario, semifinals best case. Obviously, I want like I feel like people are gonna call me, oh, you don't think finals? Obviously, I want them to go to finals, but realistically, man, semifinals is uh, I think is a great achievement for them, especially because yo, who knows how the tax gonna be? Who knows if uh, if Morbillis is gonna have his uh, you know shooting boots on? We don't know how the you know we just don't know. We really don't know. The only certainty I have is the midfield being good. But yo, you can have a good mid midfield, but if you don't put the ball in the back of the net, there's it, a lot of there's a, there's a few question marks in attack for me. There's a f this is one of the first times that I've ever seen Italy be rated. Really? I'm seeing all these media outlets. I seen ESPN. Uh, they're making a lot of. There's so many different big channels online that are all rooting not rooting for Italy, but they're calling Italy the underdog, and they're saying that they're the dark horses of the league, which I'm not used to at all, because. Italy usually, usually the media hates us. Honestly, but who, I'm saying it. From, it's, it's really why I wanted to start IFTV was because I felt like the media was oh they never gave credit. It was always you know other teams, yeah. and we even see if you saw the odds, and I, I'll put I'll pull them up over here. But the odds are in England's favor. I mean, listen, I love I love England. I got nothing against the the English people. But how the hell yeah. are England favorites to win? They're, They're five to one odds to win Euro twenty twenty. Compared to the world champions France, that's six to one, which bro. is absolutely crazy, bro. Yo, how these bookies are definitely British. That's, that's now that's the thing is every too. they really control the media. Like they have yeah, so 100%. much control and power. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I find I find them pretty. That's wild to me. Lane. That's wild to do me. Do you think? What do you think about Germany being so? You know, people are really not rating Germany, but I don't. I like Germany in tournaments. I always feel like Germany is really good. Even a lower than Italy, though. Is that a little crazy? No, or is just me? Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, True. I, I would think Germany would be more complete than than that Zuri. I would think. Yeah, I agree. I don't. I don't disagree. Yeah, it's true. Making a bet on Italy is good. But the thing is, like, I think that Italy, like, we have a really good group. Right, we have a, a solid group. I think that the team is united. The team is together. It's it's one of the first times too that I've seen such a united group. Mm -hmm. And well, the thing is, good guys don't win tournaments. At the end of the day, good guy, you got to be mean. 
and you got to be ferocious. Like, and that's that's to say, like, I'm really happy that we are doing well, and I'm happy that the group. It feels good. It feels like there's something special in the air. But the the lead up to this, we haven't played the greatest of teams. If we're being honest, we're playing teams that are not at the level that we should be competing. Yes, it's better than what we were doing in the past, you know, ten years. But that's not saying much because we would never win friendly matches. We would play small teams, and we would get we would barely win or, or we would tie or we lose. So you can't really compare that. We need to see, oh, the game's back. We need to see how Italy responds against big teams, against important teams. And I think 100%. after watching the first match in Turkey, we'll really get an understanding as to what type of characters are within this Italy team. Yeah. Is it a team of fighters? Is it a team of grinders? Are they going to step up to the plate or are they going to crumble when the challenge meets them? Yeah. So it can, it's great that there's a lot of good players. It's great that, you know, it's exciting. But at the end of the day, we have to go out there and we have to do our job. Football's not played on paper. Yeah, no, 100%, Marco. And I feel like a lot of people are un uh, underestimating some teams in the group, too. I feel like a lot of people are thinking um, that the Zuri are going to, like, walk all over Turkey. No. Turkey's actually, no, I don't know. I've been Turkey. seeing that. Turkey's actually, they're pretty good. I don't know if you guys seen the qualifying. Well, everybody I knows Turkey's really good. It's it's Wales and Switzerland that I hear people talking about. Everyone knows Turkey's know. really I good. Know. I feel like a lot of people are saying Turkey. Uh, no, has no. A, and I was like, nobody Tur that. Turkey beat Germany, and I think they drew with them. In the Everyone qualifying. knows how good Turkey is. Good. Turkey's know. really good. Switzerland, Italy should bad. beat Turkey. Switzerland or Turkey, Wales. At the end of the day, Mike, if them. Italy doesn't top this group, that's no, a, that's a, that's a that's a failure. They it's a disappointment. You you have to top your group. We have yeah, to get back to the standards of us winning our group. Yeah. Not just competing and not just not losing. No, no, it's true. It's true. This is going to be a, a big, big test. Uh, what are we on now, Marco? Six days till the Euros? For six days? Five days, bro. Five days? Yeah. Wow. Kind of auto's five. Wow, oh, you're right, you're right. Kind yeah. of auto's five. Five days away. Let's see, Damn. these guys, Notaresco, they do anything? Ah, shit. Notaresco scored. Damn it. God damn it. All right, they won zero out. What do you think about this Sadi to uh, Sadi Lazio? Which, I, it, by the way, oh, the yeah. latest rumors. Yeah, they, first, they were saying that they they agreed, uh, which which they have agreed. But Il Messaggero is saying that Lazio are becoming anxious over Sarri because uh, they have an agreement, but he hasn't signed yet, and he's taking a little bit of time. Yeah, and what, means, what they're man. saying is that time could be because Tottenham opened up. Oh damn. So what do you think about both? I think, first of all, I think this would be a huge, huge, huge win for Lazio if they get Sarri. Like, this would be an incredible feat, I think. I think Sarri would be a great coach for Lazio. Um, you got to give the man whatever he wants. I feel like they were nitpicking a little bit with the salary, and I feel like they should have just closed that immediately because someone like Sarri could really help Lazio. Uh, get the top four finish consistently. You know what I'm saying with the play with the midfield that they have, especially. I feel like Sadi could do wonders. Um, I hope he doesn't go to Spurs, man. I really want him to go to uh, a Lazio overall. But I, I'd be I, I I've been so excited the past few days, and I was like, damn, when's Lazio closing? I've been waiting for the official announcement, you know. But I, I don't know. I'm so happy. I'm so optimistic for Serie A next season because all these great coaches, you know, are in the league. Uh, and I think Sadi could is only gonna make uh, this better for next season. <coughs> what do you think for? What do you think about Sadi? No, like they should get him. Of course, they should get him. You think him. it's gonna be like? You think it's a big? If Spurs, if, if Spurs, if Spurs even show a, a bit of interest, he's gonna leave Lazio and go to Spurs That's and, and, a in a heartbeat. Him. Of course. How 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 well do you think Lazio could do with Sadi though? The problem is more so that, number one, Saudi's going to take time to actually build something. Number two, every team in Italy is getting so much better. Like, the teams are just getting better. It's the reality of it. Like, it's not that where Lazio, remember, they were fighting for the Scudetto. Yeah. You know, we thought in January that they would have won it a couple of years ago. Yeah. Everybody else has gotten stronger. So it's it takes it takes an even greater amount. So yeah. I think that, number one, they're going to need time. <clears throat> they have... I think that they have players at their disposal to be able to play Saudi's system. And I think that I had said this in the past, that's Saudi's level. Saudi's level is not to be favorites for the league. It's to try to build a team up. I think that's what he's done best in his career. 
And that's really what, what he's made for. So I like the move. I like the move from Saudi's perspective. I think for Lazio, some of the other names that they're talking about are embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. That it's a joke if you're going to go after some of those guys. There's no way that they should. So Saudi's the, the best option. But again, like you said, if Spurs come calling, he'll definitely drop Lazio for Spurs. That's my only concern, man. It's it's taking too long because last week they were saying it was gonna. I th- I thought it was gonna be a, one of those quick ones, you know that was ooh, that was he, gonna happen. But yo, it's it's getting prolonged, and now with these rumors, I'm getting a little nervous that it's not. He kind of fits Spurs as well because, like, I heard. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Levy, Levy, who's uh, who runs a club, who yeah. runs Spurs. He had said that they want they want a coach that's gonna play nice football, that's gonna play beautiful football. And Tottenham's not a team that's won. Like they have no expectations of winning. They don't even have expect. I mean, getting into a top four is going to become a success for them. The only thing is, like, are they able to spend money for his players and really change? They would have to buy into his system. Kamabasa's attacking. Oh, ball sent in. Ooh. Oh, save from the goalkeeper. And I'm not arguing about Lazio better than Spurs. Like, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that I think that Spurs are probably a more attractive option for Saudi Dude, it's than the Lazio. thing is... Plus a salary. There's no way. Yeah, Lazio's Premier League gonna, salary is going to be way higher. There's no way Lazio, even most Serie A teams, could compete with a, a Premier League salary. He's getting $3 million at Lazio. I'm sure at, That's at thing Spurs for he'll be getting close to 10. No, nah, not 10. He'll probably get 6. six? He'll oh, probably wow. get 6. That's double. It's double. No, it's a lot. At, it is a lot more. It'll be at least double. I feel like it could be more than that. But who knows? People ask, too, by the way, about Keane. Why, why Keane is not selected for the national team. He has uh, attitude problems, man. It's disappointing. It it's is. really disappointing because I like the guy. I like the guy a lot. He showed a lot of flashes of talent. And PSG had a solid season at PSG too. I, I mean, like we he had heard it. he. it's not the first time that he's had attitude problems because he was kicked off the youth team. Mm-hmm. He didn't play. I think it was like their one of their semifinals, one of their knockout matches. He wasn't playing him and Zaniolo because they showed up late. Uh-huh. Which is disappointing with, with guys at that age. And he comes from very humble beginnings. You know, he's got a crazy story with his mom, and he wasn't even supposed to be born, and, and he struggled a lot to be able to become a professional player. So you think at that level that he should be able to, you know, understand, remember your roots, exactly. and not mess around. And, of course, it's all hearsay. We don't really know what all goes details, on. Yeah. But I think that if you see what happened in the past, which for sure he got excluded from the national team, and, and they, they that was a disciplinary problem. I think he even apologized. Now they're saying it's more attitude problems. There was even talks about this at Juve, which is one of the reasons why he left. So I think that if you're consistently getting the same thing, it's probably not the coach to blame when it's separate coaches, it's separate teams, it's separate organizations. Most likely, it's him that's the variable that that's become the issue. I kind of don't want to admit it, but it does seem like all the you know all the signs are pointing that in that direction. And, you know, I've always been rooting for Keane, man. He, he went from Everton. Uh, for, uh, Juve, I liked him a lot. Then he went to Everton. He wasn't really doing anything. But then he went to PSG, and he started doing amazing. And I was following him, Verratti, and Florenzi over to the Italians. And, you know, I was excited. I was like, oh, man, yo, he, maybe he can explode at the Euros. Maybe he could do something. And then when we were here, he got excluded because of, you know, these problems. Uh, it hurts to hear because, you know, you're following the kid. You want him to do well. Hoping, you know, he can be the next big thing and next striker for that Zuri to lead the team. But then things like this happen. You can't have, you know, you can't have people like that that's going to, you know, bring down the locker room and stuff, you know. So it sucks. I didn't realize there's more uh, fans over there on the other side. Yeah, there's a few as well. fans there too. Ooh. Mike called it right. Sensi, very injury prone. Poor Sensi. Bro, that's wild. Yeah, I hate to be right about that, bro. Did you see the, uh, obviously oh. the show that they did, the Italian show when they were hosting? They were dancing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and somebody had put out a tweet. I think it was Francesco Calcio. Okay. He's a great follow, by the way. Yeah, oh, n- oh, my God. They just oh. scored a bicycle kick. No, offsides. Ha ha, sucker. There we go. Jeez, that was a pretty sick there goal. Go. Yeah, it was Not a nice lie. goal. That was a nice now goal. I can say it's a nice goal because it didn't count. Jesus. <laughs> So uh, there was he's a great follow, Francesco Calcio. I'm not sure if it was him, but I think it was. He had posted the a video of Sensi dancing at the at this like announcement where they were announcing the team, and uh, I was about to say something, but I have to I have to check one more time. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll say it in a second. I'll say it in a second. He was dancing, and he had posted like, "Watch, he's gonna tear a hamstring. He's gonna hurt his hamstring by just dancing." 
And look at this. Jeez. Unbelievable. I mean, they don't even play a match yet, and the guy gets hurt. It's he's going to be – he's going to end up at, like, Sassuolo. Like, if not this year, like, next year. Dude, it just sucks because a lot of the thing – like, a lot of the players, you know, uh, there's a lot of – most of the things are in the players' hands, but there's some things that, that aren't in players' hands, like injuries, man. You really – Sometimes you're unlucky. Sometimes you're unlucky with injuries. Some we don't totally know. Because, like, hamstring and stuff, like, it could be, you know, a player could be doing the wrong thing. Could be overtraining or not stretching or not really taking care of their body or but not dude, doing the proper this things. This is first-time thing. Yeah, I know. I know. There are definitely 100% there are players that are unlucky, especially, exactly. like, usually, like, the knee problems and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That's usually not something that you can control, control totally. Exactly. I know people will say, oh, you could do yoga. You could strengthen your knees. And a lot of the players do do that. But, yeah, the unluckiness comes at a part. And, and for me, like, since he's one of the most talented midfielders in, in Serie A, if, if it was a video game and you had – if it was FIFA and injuries were turned off, I think Sensi would probably be one of the best midfielders he's in Serie A. He's, he's skillful. He's very talented. If not the best. But, yo, if he doesn't even have – you know, if you don't have a lot of time on the field, don't get consistent starting times, it's hard, man. It's hard. S someone said, why Pessino over Castrovilli? To be honest, Castrovilli Pessino hasn't had a good Pessino. season, man. What? Why pissing over Politano? They're different, bro. Yeah, I know. The midfield and the attack, bro. Castro really didn't have a good year at Fiorentina. Well, Pessina with uh, Atalanta, he actually... It was good. He, the, the, uh, yeah, I definitely pick... I, I think he's fine to pick. I think it's more than fine. He's definitely a better player than Castro really this season. 100%. I would say Castro really is more talented, but Pessina's had a better year and deserves it more. Who cares about talent, though? He, he had a better... Uh, I'm just saying that he's more talented. Yeah, but... Uh, Pessina with Atalanta, I think he he's he more really physical. Bro Pessina he broke into that that oh, starting wow, spot too a lot of the times, and he he had a good display. So but you know, want, you know what I want? You know what I'm gonna say about this too? Oh, that's these are uh, yeah, has How's to be that off. Not off. There's no VAR in this. Oh, oh what an nice, idiot. good nice save. Stoppage. Yo, you know what I like about this? Yo, they don't fall to the ground as much in Serie D. They're tougher. Uh, yeah, they're much tougher. Oh, Bro, they they get back up in a second. Yeah. And, it, yo, they just did a sliding challenge. I swear to you, if that was Serie A, they would have stayed on the ground for 10 minutes. Oh, forget Is it because they know they're going to get the call? I mean, I don't think it can. It can't be because no VAR. No, it's not. That Obviously, one. it can't be because of that. It would work in their favor. If anything. Yeah. No, yeah, it, it can't be that. But, yo, they're much tougher. They are. I like this. This is what, around. like, I grew up on. Yo, you get hit, you you get up in the end of the day. But they're, like, not even falling at times. And they're not looking for the foul. It doesn't seem like they're diving. Ooh, Cogliarti. Oh, corner, please. Oh, no. no corner. I kind of like that. Also, is that a, a girl referee? I believe. That's really I cool. so. I wasn't 100% I like that. sure. Me too. But I think it's a woman. I don't want to assume. Yeah. Long it hair. Seem to be. But who else, who's the, nobody has long hair in our group. No. Nobody has long. Well, we got two of our guys are bald. <laughs> we beat her and I don't know. You just screw us over. One of us might. Like your brother. Your brother has long no, hair, but they don't that, know your brother. There's more than that. He used to have like, like yeah, that. Yeah, he used to have like that. I don't know. I, we can't really tell, but that would be really cool if they have that. A few more referees. That's dope. It's funny. <laughs> can't tell, but I think so. I think so. No, Tedesco just only posted that they scored. They still haven't no put out the stream. Dude. They're gonna wait till the last five minutes where they know that they can't get <laughs> they, like kicked out, or they they know they're not giving up the promotion. What else we got in store? Let me check. Uh, we posted this thing like the three keys to Italy's success at Euro 2020. I'll read it after this donation. Yeah, you want to read it, or. Uh, can you guys give us your top 10 footballers in the world right now? Messi, Lewandowski, De Vrij, Salah. Apart from Ronaldo, who else in Serie A could get it? Apart from Ronaldo. Wait, in Serie A? Apart from Ronaldo, who else could get it in top 10? In the world. Time? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, can you guys give your top 10? Um, okay. Uh, they mean world, no? Yeah. For who from Serie A? Okay. Who from Serie A can get into that? Who in Serie A can get into the top, oh, 10. The top 10? Lukaku? Right? Mm -hmm. Lukaku, definitely. This season, Lukaku has been 
top three players, I think, in the world. He had an incredible season in scoring, in assisting, in being a leader, in being. He's been. He's done it all, dude. He's 100% MVP of Serie A, and definitely top three players in uh in the world. I would say he had such an incredible season. He's so good, man. So so selfless. So good. He does a little bit of everything. For the people, I um, see people saying confused what has to happen. Cambaso needs to win. Notaresco needs to not win. So a tie for Notaresco or a loss. Yeah. They're currently up 1-0, unfortunately. But we need no, we need Cambaso to win and then this next one. Uh, and then this team not to not to win. Give me give me a player for you. I shall look up. Who's in the top 10 of all time? Uh, top 10 right now? Yeah. Is Lukaku top 10 right now? Yeah. Bro, come on. Are you kidding me? Why'd you just question that? Lukaku after this season? This season, yeah. I want to see what yeah, happens next bro. season without Conte. Okay, bro. Let's just say with this season. Let's let's base it all. How results. scared do you think Lukaku is with 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 Conte leaving? Do you think he's scared? At first, I feel like crap, man. I was like, that was my man, Conte. But yo, he's a good player. But he's the system player. is built around Lukaku with it Conte. Is, but will I'm sure Inzaghi I, will try to replicate. If I Inzaghi's a smart, he's not gonna change. Anything. If Inzaghi's a smart coach. If he's an intelligent he's a, he's coach, a smart coach, if I'm not saying he is, I want to see because okay. we've said this about other yeah. coaches, remember? And then they yeah. they throw everything under the bus. Remember what I said about Allegri when he took over for Conte? He didn't change. He kept it consistent yeah. first year. This and slowly, slowly, slowly. slowly. Make it implement, if Inzaghi's implement. smart, he keeps everything the same. You got a team that won the Scudetto. You could guide them I to mean, win another Scudetto it, if you don't screw he, it up. The thing is, I, I'm. I'm confident with that because, you know, they play that same 3-5-2 formation, and I'm sure they're going to build around the MVP of Serie A. So, uh, to be honest, I'm not scared about that. Um, but yeah, give me a, give me a player. Give me a player that you think that uh, merits top. The league? I would. I would. You would, but is he? I would. I would think so, right? Yeah. The league? I don't think there's anybody else, 21 years old? I don't think there's anybody no? else. Top 10 in the world? Barella? I think I could, we could put Barella there. I'd probably be very biased to put him there. Really? Mm -hmm. He's such a good player. Nah, he is. I, I don't disagree, but, but when we're talking like about I'm the world, there's a lot of great players. I'm not talking about... You get De Bruyne. Through, you got Messi. I'm not talking about through media and hype. I'm talking about actually good players. Barella, to me, he deserves to be in that. He's been incredible, man. It's not about how good... It's not just about how good he's been. It's about how good everybody else has no, been no, in the I world, too. No, no, I definitely get that. But how many like, players it's so easy midfield, to get 10 players, how bro. Many, how many players in midfield, oh, midfielders are better than him? Kante, you can throw him as a Kante, midfielder. Yeah. De Bruyne. The, yeah, De Bruyne you can put there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of guys. Once you start like actually adding up the players that are in, in, in Europe. Yeah. But you get you get ten so easy. Yeah, that's true. Michael said Donnarumma. Yeah, I put Donnarumma there. All right, so you got five guys. Five guys from Serie A are in the top 10 of the world. You're Bro, not being fair. There's a lot of top players in the league. What do you have? I don't know. You don't think Donnarumma is one of the best players in the world? We're not talking about one of. It's top 10 okay, in the world. Okay, top 10 player. One top of 10 is, in the world. would be top 10. would be top 100 when you say top All 10. All right, so five out of your 10 are from Serie A. I, Who are the not, remaining I'm, five? I'm trying to. Who are the remaining I'm five? I'm trying to make it a, an You got argument. Messi. You got Van Dijk. Van Dijk? He was injured all season. We're talking about this season, the guy said. Van Dyke was injured. You can't. You sure about in. that? He said this season. I'm pretty sure he's a top ten players this season. If we're basing it, I speak we only facts. Some, we gotta put some kind of. We can't say you know the past decade. We gotta, you know, we gotta uh, filter it a little bit. Yanakovalos top ten. <laughs> Lukaku is amazing. I know you guys don't really watch the Prem. I watch both leagues. I would say still put Salah, Kane, De Bruyne ahead. Trust me. Salah, Trust me, bro. Salah, Salah didn't have a good season though. Marco Gaetano, Mike, Peter, Antonio, top five. <laughs> yeah. You, I would get rid of Gaetano, Mike, Peter, Anto. And then we're good. So you, you left yourself on that. Uh, <laughs> three keys to Italy's success. We put Barella, Chiesa, and Bastoni. Bastoni might not even play. Yeah, I, know. I was, I was going to bring that up. With the friendly that Mancini put, you don't really change your center back partnership, Marco. It's true. Especially a day before, yeah, you're a right. game before the thing. You're right. So to me, it gonna gonna it's going to be disappointing. Bonucci. I don't want Bonucci. I would rather Bastoni, man. Is it disappointing or he wants to play it safe a little bit? Like, yo, they know they play a decade with each other. The whole thing, the whole thing about Mancini has been like he's been taking risks and he's been betting on the youth. And I feel like, is it really a risk to give a really good player a starting spot? 
Bastoni's a great player. He is a great player, but with Chiellini, how much do they know? Why do about? Why are people commenting that they're two lefties? They can't play together. Yeah, a lot of people. Two righties play together all the time. It's yeah, usually a lot of two right center, that. right right footed center backs. A lot of people are saying that. I don't think that that's even a thing. They said that the, the other point they also brought up is they both uh, don't play with the ball on their feet, so that's why it wouldn't work. Bastoni's but very good with the ball. In they, say, they say they uh, say Bonucci would complement Chiellini better with that. Nah, Bonucci fits him better. I, I don't know. Bro, Bastoni's I, I great with the ball at his feet. He sent he sent some a nice uh, love. He has to play out of the back with Conte. Of course, he's good with his feet. I I do I see this Bastoni because he he's not playing in a back four. He's usually playing in a back three. I could see that argument. And again, listen, we have to go at the discretion of our coach of Mancini, where you know he's watching the players play every every oh, training. Every day, yeah. That maybe he sees something that we don't. If he if he starts Berardi over Chiesa, shit's gonna hit the fan though. I'm gonna say that. And if he doesn't start with Jorginho, Verratti, Barella in the midfield, yeah, shit's gonna hit the fan. Um. Yeah, I would definitely put Berardi's a good off the bench, but yeah, I'd, he's not a starter. You got, you got to give he's not yeah, a starter. You got to give Chiesa the start. Bro, I had spot. somebody tweet me like, "Oh, Marco, Chiesa be quiet spot. about Berardi. He scored like four goals and is like, I don't know, whatever the hell it no, is." No, I think he scored four in the past five, I believe. Or something Who are like we that. playing against? It no, needs to true. matter when no, it counts. True. Berardi's good off the bench, but yo, <clears throat> Chiesa has been really. He's not great. a starter. He's been one of the best Juve players. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta start him. I think Insigne. This could be his tournament, too. Oh, he needs to come through this tournament. Yeah. If he leads the team, we could have a really good squad. He's going to be that secret leader in attack, I think. Bless you. <sighs> yeah. I try to show some respect and get out of the way. I'm going to make a coffee. You want one? No, I'm good. I stopped drinking caffeine for the past couple of weeks to see how it affects me. Man, I've been, I feel like I've been more sluggish. But, um, yeah. Marco's uh, still drinking, like, 10 coffees a day. That guy's... That's it? <laughs> Marco has caffeine through his uh, veins. It doesn't even affect me. Uh, yeah, exactly. I like but, you, but it tastes. Huh. But let's see over here. No, seems like still no stream for um, Notaresco game, but they are currently winning. So as as a result holds, we need Notaresco to drop points and Campo Basso to win. So as of now, Campo Basso are tied. So we, we're gonna need uh, some changes over here. Oh, you didn't say the season. You said overall. Overall is tougher, man, because it's a much bigger, uh, much bigger radius that you gotta think over, and it's harder to think about. Anto's playing, uh, playing a game, the Campo Basso USA, actually. Chase said, Italy play at their pace. Don't think speed will be an issue. Football made in Italy. Uh, yeah, I like to see. I like to see. It's going to be a real test against Turkey of how they play. And I want to see if they play that kind of defensive or they play that possession kind of football. Uh, they, but they should automatically. They, they got to top this group. Regardless of, you know, it's not an easy group. You know, 100%. But Italy got to top this group. And... Um, once they leave the group, they could be uh, facing some tough oppositions too. So it's gonna be interesting who who they can go. Oh no! Oh, Campo Basso with the oh, Campo Basso almost had a a golden chance in the box over there. Oh, counter attack! Nick said, Marco and Mike, after watching the Italy friendly this past Friday, do you feel more comfortable at the right back position? If not, is Bastoni a wild card thought? Wait, right back? You Bro. mean right center? What do you mean? No, right back. Why do you say Bastoni? It's just another question. Where's, where's the question? Oh, this right, right there. Here. If not, Bastoni's a wild card. Thought. Why a wild card. He's saying like to put Bastoni as a right back instead. Oh no, yo, you can you can't mess around with. That. Oh yeah, yo, we gotta we gotta comment. Uh, the link. We, we yo, we started a, a fantasy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yo, right. we started a pick a picker a Euro pr picker. I'm gonna let me comment the link right now, guys. You it's should join this, bro. It's mad fun. Not only oh, Campo Basso almost had a almost score. Guys, so we have this. Uh, we 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 started working with this company, and they have this picker where you could choose the scores of the matches. If you guys remember on our podcast in the beginning of the season of the Serie A season, we would go through and predict every single Serie A game with our whole podcast crew, and we kept score and we kept bragging rights. And we would just have, like, a list of, like, who's doing the best. So, like, if you guessed Juventus 
one one zero against a team, you will get two points. If you guessed, you know, win, whatever. We had a point system. Then Mike rigged the point system by changing it and, and lying about that, the math on it. That's not true. And we said, hey, we need an app to automatically do this. So we have one for the Euros. I'm going to comment the link. If you want to join us, there's going to be a leaderboard. We're going to have the entire podcast crew. There's probably going to be loads of banter because oh, we're yeah. all just going to be going crazy about this. And we're going to – we'll start throwing away prizes. Uh, like there's going to be merchandising. We have signed – I know we have we have signed Buffon gear. I we think have we have signed the stuff. We have signed stuff. a lot of stuff. De Rossi. We have a lot of signed gear. We'll start throwing that in so, for whoever starts guys, winning. Let me comment the Do with your boys too. Send it to your friends also. It'll be a fun little, uh, you know, uh, prediction game. And, you know, every week we're going to be going through them too in the podcast. We're going to be like, yo, I got five more points for this. And it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's obviously for the Euros. So we're going to see if you guys like it. If you guys like it, maybe we'll do more stuff. Yeah. If they like it, we'll probably do one yeah, for Serie A or something. Sure. But but yeah, join it. It's pretty fun. You could it's it's called Scorito, the app. S C O R I T O. You could either use it on web version or I got the app. It's so much easier with an yeah, app. Yeah, the app's better. The app is better. Guys, it's literally the simplest thing. You go to the thing, all the results are there. You literally click it. It it it, it inputs, and then you keep going to the next games and the next games. You just got to you got to make an account. Yeah. Just make an make account. An account and then you can go to the And then download the app. See all your boys on there. See what position you are. It's, I'm going to go to the app actually right some now. some good banter, guys. I'll go away right now. Good call for that, Marco. Let me pop this in. Let's see. I know. I think my dad said he was putting. My dad didn't put a regular name, though. He must be, like, lying about his name. By the way, who's on top? Who's, I'm ahead of you, bro. Look at this. IFT Marco is in second. You're in third, That's bro. That's you registered before You went me. third, son. You, you went third. Me. Yeah, I'm fucking first, bro. I'm first. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. With All zero, right, let's with zero points. Let's see when let's the see what we got. We got Mikey Snap, uh, Snipes, <laughs> M Martello, La Hoya Ten, Nicholas D, N Pacciolo, the Calcio Guy, Showtime Two Thousand and One. You'll get fun with your names too. I yeah. I kind of like I like the fun names. I want to change my name. Like in real life, or no, no, I was gonna try, uh, make it something funny. <laughs> Yo, but a I, lot I of. But I think of anything. Funny. We got one hundred fifty people oh, already that are weird. in this. Not bad. Dirty Dammers. Clifford ninety nine. Dirty that. I'd El hate Matador. I'd hate to be friends with that guy. Imagine having yeah. a name like that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read the funny names. Let's see what other names we got. <laughs> the funny names. Nothing. No, they they're kind of basic. Everybody's going Man, with basic. You guys names. are basic, son. Stickhead. <laughs> Ital Juve. Stickhead. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to make sure I didn't say anything, you know, wrong. <laughs> Look at this guy's name. I'm not going to say it, but. Uh, wonderful. We won't go for those. Ops. Ops. <laughs> Joey, join that son and make a fun name too so it's, we can read it. There's too many pages, bro. I am I can't go through everybody's name. No, no other funny ones? Nah, not yet. I went through Fair so many enough. pages. Where's crying? That's true. He's playing too. He's, yo, everyone's playing. Everybody's playing today. Jeez. They all asked us to go play. See the, the commitment, Marco? That's Over funny. Streaming? Pjanic at the disco. I like that. You never heard that before? I don't think so. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, is it, I Maybe. think that's our username too. That's a good one. I like that. Mano, you know I'm going to put Man Manolas. <laughs> Manolas. <laughs> yes, bro. Thing. That's true. Or Katsano. <laughs> Katsano. Bro, his his family's reaction. Oh, yeah, that was we told we told Antonio's family about the Katsano joke. They're like, yeah, they're damn, right, why do we like, think about that? Think Ando was like silent. He was so he was annoyed. so pissed. Uh, Mourinho said Italy will get semifinals. I think he's just saying that, son. I'm happy for Mourinho. Antonio Conte gave an interview. Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte from Lecce. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the funniest accent, bro. You ever heard him talk? You remember you uh, Pio Medio? They were in the stands and they were calling him over when he yeah. was the Euro. Uh, when he was. We don't coaching. talk about Pio and Medio anymore, bro. Those guys are done. Are they? <laughs> yeah, bro. What do you mean? They said some bad stuff, Did they? bro. Yeah, bad. Oh, you bro, didn't hear? I didn't know. Yeah, it's bad. Damn, I didn't it was know. It's really bad. It's really bad. Damn. Mike, Michael's unaware, guys. That's that's what. I uh, didn't know, guys. Mike, the, Mike this, didn't find this that. New, this yeah, it's bad. Me. It was bad. It was bad. Really insensitive from them. Uh, they had a good show like in the past, like their comedy it, skits. It was funny. But they hosted something and they said some really. I'm not even gonna repeat what they said. Uh, yeah. Anyway, 
That's that's not what Mike was referring to in the beginning. No, I was saying the skits in the back of what had to do with Balotelli. He called his mom and it was like, oh, my, Balotelli wants to buy you this uh, expensive purse. It was oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, um, okay, yeah. So Conte gave this this uh, interview with Dazon. And he said, yeah, I'll read some of it. He said, I should be chosen because I'm a winner and a guarantee both from the work and human side. If I was the head of a company, I'd choose me. My greatest asset is giving my entire self for who I work for. <laughs> I don't think I have any flaws because whoever gives their all can have big flaws. You have to have the right amount of self-belief and the right amount of arrogance. Maybe at times I'm too honest, but I do not consider that a flaw. Dude, I love to read this to Mourinho and see what he says. I just want to record his first first. What do you think about this, Mike? Dude, he's a little, he's a little egotistical. You can tell from that, a little bit. He shouldn't say he has no flow, bro. Come on. I kind of like him more now. Nah, that's a little too much. We all know he's a great coach. I kind of like. I didn't think he thought that highly of himself to that extent. You didn't think he thought that that highly of himself, bro? Bro, this guy in his head, he's like all these other idiots. You know, he's like everybody else is an idiot. I think that's what he thinks. He goes around the world thinking like everybody else is an idiot. Really? I didn't think. I didn't think so. The only thing I would say is like like the top winners. Like obviously, I remember Ronaldo, and I never liked Ronaldo before he joined Juve. I hated Ronaldo because he was a rival. He was a guy that would constantly kick out our teams out, who would constantly beat us. And of course, you're not supposed to like those kind of guys. In my opinion, in my, yeah, you, you have to have in, in from yeah. from a, a competitive standpoint. You don't like that guy. You're mad because he constantly. Oh, ooh, couple from almost open. But the one thing I would never take away is I remember he used to always have time. He used to always say like, "Oh, I'm the best." Mm-hmm. He used to say like, "I in my my head, there's nobody better." And people said, oh, but you're arrogant for that. thinking that. I like that mentality. It's good to have You're that. supposed to think that you're the yeah. best. But at the same time, Ronaldo puts in a lot of the work to fix the flaws in his games. And I think that's what winners do. The fact that he says he has no flaws yeah, that's... is probably the the bad part. Because exactly. that's, that's, that's he has part. flaws exactly. that if he fix, he could probably become one of the best coaches in the world. The thing with that is I'm okay with saying, like, you're the best and stuff. You know, he backs it up. But to say you have no flaws, man, that's that's taking over. That's that's the part where it's like, dude, really? You can't you can't say that stuff. Yo, some of the comments are really funny. Because, yo, you never won a fucking Euro, bro. What do you mean you don't have no flaws? <laughs> it's true, though. You can't, say, you can't say that. You can be like, I think I'm a very good coach, and but I got to improve in other aspects, like fucking getting out of the group stage. He's got he's to gotta be like that. Let me read some of the comments. Because then you're going to get roasted. Evert, Evert said he's a guarantee for two seasons. Anthony <laughs> Basta said flawless coach, flawless, <laughs> flawless coaches don't lose every year in the group stages of Europe. Yeah, see that's what happens. You got, you got to be a little humble in some parts. It's good to think that you're Ooh, one of the best. Look bro. at this from. Let me see what this guy's name is. Michael Gallardi. His flaw is that he believes he has none. Ooh, oh, sh- bro, that yeah. shit hit. Damn. That hit. <laughs> That was a that was a strong one. Hello from Pescara, Italy. Damn, Daniel. His name's actually Daniel, and I didn't Never even say it like that. that. That's funny. Yeah, it's old. Yeah. From Pescara, you had the That's you funny, had the man. the trio over there: Verratti, Insigne, and Immobile. The boys, the boys in blue. We posted about them yesterday too. We did. Pescara boys. Yeah. Yo, one other thing that's really cool, and uh, I think we got a post that's about to go up right now, by the way, as well. If you guys have noticed uh, on our social medias, we've acquired the uh, te- for for the moment, we've acquired the Serie A highlights, archive we highlights. Did. That uh, we did. So eight days after a match, we're allowed to post the highlights now on uh, certain channels. It's really cool, really cool, like little stepping stone for us to be able to get that on on IFTV. We could even show them on YouTube. We got a couple different YouTube videos that we're gonna try to create and try to go through which I think you guys will enjoy. There's a couple of big montages coming. Mm-hmm. But anytime you see them, yo, the more that everybody could engage with them really helps us out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully we'll be able to take a bigger step up even in the next season with this. But first step, we really want to story tell with them and, and do some cool stuff. Yeah. But it's pretty cool that it is. I we're mean, able to get that on our page. 100%. And we got verified on Twitter. That's yeah, nice. son. Hopefully IG By next. By the way, good, good day. But, good yeah, day. but yeah, like Marco was saying, it would, be, it would be huge if you guys see that, you know, engage in a send to your friends because it does help us a lot because if we do good with these um i think next season will be even bigger for us so with a, a lot more stuff oh we didn't uh, there was another thing i wanted to say uh, about the conte conte said i like to i'd like an experience abroad i'd like to be in america one day and then within five years 
Or how will Conte do in America? I can't see him even going there in five years. He's going to realize that every team actually has to spend like a similar amount of money. You can't just, like, it's really competitive. And he's going to be like, nah, bro, I'm not doing that. He's going to dip. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I don't know. I can't see him in, uh, I can see him in MLS in like 30 years. I can't see him now. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I just don't see it personally. Funny, though. Yeah, guy, he's a character, man. He's he exciting is. to listen to. He is. Really, he really, is. really. He's I fe- fun. I feel like he doesn't say much, but if you pick pick his brain a little bit more, he'll, he's willing to open up more. I think I think he's like one of those petty type of guys that like really like he notices everything that's going around. Like he acts like he doesn't, like he doesn't care or like whatever's happening. But I feel like he's one of those guys that like, yo, I, I bet you like he reads the comments like on his Instagram and reads like all that stuff. I bet you he goes through and he's just like, oh. This guy thinks that I don't do that. All right, I'll be real. Like, I feel like he's got that trigger in his brain that that's just gets true. him mad. I don't know. That's me. I can, I can see that. I can see that for sure. <laughs> he's funny though. He's funny. Oh, he's a you can't take sure. you can't take that away from him. You can't take. Yeah, he's a character. Antonio wouldn't agree, but he is a character. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man. There was this quote that pissed you off, Mike. I'll Which read one? it. From yeah. Nizerbi, who said, Tuchel is a great coach, but I would rather lose the Champions League final with Guardiola on the bench than win it with another coach. I want everybody to comment, too. Yeah. But, Mike, Pep's a good I know co- you felt you felt passionate but about this. Pep's a good coach and all, but, yo, I take winning over anything any day, personally. Like, I don't care who the coach is. If he guarantees you to win over Pep playing the nice football or whatever, um, I'm taking that. And I feel like Pep... Follow my pecking order in my book a little bit. That that's how I see it, to be honest. Do you concur? Mm. Or do you disagree? <laughs> I understand what he means. Yeah, I get what he means by having. He'd rather have that coach or whatever. But by saying, I think people take this out of context, bro. But you'd rather have that coach over winning, bro. Okay, because if like, you're gonna tell him you'd rather have Pep in the final, or you have Tuchel who's gonna win you. You're uh, you're honestly gonna be oh Pep because he has a nice style but we're gonna lose, dude. Come but on. I think people are looking at this. Come I think on. you're looking at it from a narrow perspective. You're looking at it through like a little hole, like a peephole, instead of like you're opening your eyes overall. and seeing everything. Because I, I think what he means is that what Guardiola brings to a club is much bigger than that. And saying like Tuchel, like okay, maybe he's he wins you the Champions League right now, but what kind of what does he really build? You know, like Guardiola, you can't deny what he's built with Manchester City yeah. and the effect that he has on teams to really build no, a proper system yeah, and gonna. influence generations. Like, so I think that honestly, that's what I think that he means personally. That's what I think. I think it's more of a, pl- I thought about that, but then I thought about the playing style pep that Zerbi has a similar playing style to pep. Mm-hmm. So I feel like he's the one, the guy to die on the sword and play that attractive football rather than win. That's, so I, that's, a, that's all their aspect. I saw about it and I was like, Yo, the Derby, I kind of liked you, but I kind of criticized you by you saying that. Because it kind of shows your mentality in a sense. Saying like, dude, as a coach, your number one job is to win. Uh, everything else comes second. And by him saying that, I was like, ah, that's a little weird. Because I liked him and Sassuolo. I liked how they play. Um, but yeah, that, that's just my two cents on it, I think. Anthony Cherna says, hey guys, I bought the Lawnmower 4.0 using code IFTV. My son, Anthony. Listen, this stream is not sponsored by Manscaped, but if you want to use code IFTV, yeah. you're, still, you're still able to use exactly. it. 20% off and free shipping. Yeah, it's a sick, Shout out to them. It's a sick, it's a sick deal. Sure. Yo, it's wild. It's really, really good. So yeah, Notaresco's still winning, man, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, so Camposo, it's not that if they don't lose, uh, if they don't win today, that they're not going to go up. They just, uh, they're able to get promoted if it was today. Also, I see Common Basso got verified on Twitter. I don't think they were verified before. I'm pretty sure that they weren't. That's pretty cool. If Conte spent the last 10 years at Bayern Munich and Manchester City, won leagues but won zero European trophies and once reached a final, he'd be labeled a big loser. That's actually true, bro. That's true. And now there's no playoffs. There's no playoffs. There's no more playoffs this year. There's no more playoffs. Watch party for Italy versus Turkey. Yo, anybody got a ticket for the Euros? I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. I know it's last second. I know it's last second. I messed up because Maurizio from around Turin. Shout out around Turin. Great, great guy. Great account. He had tickets, but 
I wasn't uh I didn't message him quick enough. I didn't message him quick enough. He got free tickets, man. Anybody got a hookup, let me know. I I sent out a couple uh feeler messages just to see. <laughs> see if we'll be able to go. If I go, definitely like video video. I'm going to Italy next week, so So maybe it could work out. What else happened in the news lately? It was like Giroud rejected uh, Milan. He's not going to Milan anymore. He said, nah, I ain't doing that. The biggest exclusions. Joey kind of bit this said, I might have a ticket for Italy versus Wales. Oh. Yeah, a bunch of people. Somebody hit me up that they will give me a free ticket for Italy versus Switzerland. Really? Yeah. Free? Yeah. Wait, when do they play? Five days after Turkey, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm probably I not going to be in Rome. Days? I think I'm only going to be there for Italy, Turkey, though. Uh, so it's either that or nothing. Uh, unless they keep going and then <laughs> Mike meets me in Italy and we go to the semis. That'd be nice. Yeah. Though they're, they're on the same path uh, to play Germany or France. In the semis? So they can't meet them in the final. So whatever happens, Italy can play them in the finals, the way the brackets are. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like someone's gonna be like, "No, that's not true." If I'm not mistaken, that's the thing. <sighs> no, Teres was still up uh, one zero. Sam, they're still up one zero. Unfortunately, they're not able to do it. I mean, the other team just need a goal. Vasto Girardi. Wow, what a name. Yeah. Vasto G. G I think the team is bad too. I was looking it up before. Oh, they are. They're lower Let me check. the table. Oh, they're twelfth. Not bad. Twelve out of eighteen. I can see a little penalty. Still pretty from bad. Scoring Still pretty bad. We need Kamavasa yeah, to Kamavasa win. To win. The thing yeah. is, like we said, the video guys are there now, so I want them to to be able to catch. I mean, they're gonna stay no matter what, but it would just be fun if they were able to catch it now, oh, for especially sure. first game back with fans. They're dope. gonna be hyped. They're gonna be hyped. It will be awesome. It will be a lot of fun. Yeah, this Friday it starts. This Friday, it's it's so close. I can't wait for the Euros. It's exciting. We've needed this. We needed this. We have a lot of stuff. It's it's good because like the season just ended, but we're still getting football right away. Also, Friday is our merch drop, June eleventh. We just did a photo shoot. It's gonna be wild. I, people are going crazy for this stuff. I can't wait. Yeah, the we'll Ultras T has gotten really good reception. Also, the one with the Colosseo and Pisa in the back, the Coliseum and Pisa in the back. That one's been really good. Okay, and the Forza Italia hoodie. We'll, we'll be wearing them for for the stream against True. Turkey. True. We'll be we'll be showing you guys. We'll make, we'll see which one Anto like. This is why I got to go to Italy versus Turkey, and I wear I wear one of the things. Maybe we'll celebrate it on the side or something. Who knows? Nah, I'm making that up in we'll my see. head right now. I can go to score maybe, a goal and then pull it off. Maybe the need. maybe the player will wear right. Yeah, that too. That could be nice. That's okay. <laughs> Swipe off, right? Yeah. Maybe maybe they'll put they'll put it too. They'll put it too. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. I have exams during the Euros. Damn. I guess you're gonna have to figure out which one's more important. I'm not saying which one's which, but you figure that out. Yeah, we had this controversy with Bernadeschi, Mike. Mm. Where uh Bernadeschi versus Pirlo's girlfriend. Oh yeah. So Bernadeschi, after he scored against San Marino, said San they asked Marino. San Marino said uh, they asked him why don't I do this at Juve, and he said it's very simple. Italy lets me play my position. Pirlo's girlfriend took to Instagram and said, "On the field, you show one millionth of what the real champions did. You give an interview after scoring against San Mar San Marino. Misunderstood genius. Damn, one millionth. That's harsh. What one do you think, millionth. Mike?" I mean, yo, Who's right? I mean, yo, first of all, Bernadette, you can't be acting like you're the MVP, bro. You just scored against uh, a top of the bottom, <laughs> top, you know, a, a minnow. You can't be acting like, oh, yo, you've misunderstood me, people misunderstood me. It's like, bro, you scored against a, in a friendly against a team that's like, would be rated half a star in FIFA. Like, dude, hold your horses. Yeah, Bernadette, you shouldn't be saying that. And, uh, what do you call it? The girlfriend was a little bit attacked a little bit, but I guess it was merited. I guess you could say a little bit more aggressive than I expected. But I guess she had the right to say that if Bernadeschi said, said that, you know what I'm trying to say? Personally, I agree with you. Personally. I agree with you. I agree with you. I feel you. I feel you. At the end of the day, listen, man, and this is where like San everybody, Marino. everybody loves to talk. I feel like everybody gets so excited. Everybody talks about players and, and everybody um, you know, we'll be like, oh, this player is so much better when they score in these friendlies. But at the end of the day, what matters is when you do it, when it counts. Yeah. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, you shouldn't want to win and friendlies don't matter. But 
You have to do it at the Euros. If Bernadette scores at the Euros, then guess guess what? Maybe you're going to be right. So the proof is in the pudding. That's true. That's it. If and you I do love it, pudding, bro. I love pudding too, <laughs> bro. But you got to score to get the pudding. You do it in the Euros. If Bernadeschi went on a roll and started scoring in the Euros, then guess what? You will yeah. be undoubtedly right. Yeah. You can go back and forth and say, oh, this guy didn't give me that chance or that one didn't do this or she's wrong or yeah. he's right. But guess what? Go out, Facts. win, score goals, and then there's no right or wrong. She's gonna, it's not subjective. Yo, it's not arguing. Make her deactivate her IG, bro. Score a Hattie against Turkey. That's what I'm saying. Go out and do it. Go out and do it. You know, I oh, hate that. I hate that aspect. Like, no, me too. I, I hate that. You can't act like, you know. Everybody loves to talk, but then when it comes to like backing a, up the you actions. You can't act like a big boy on the after after a friendly and against San Marino. I agree. I agree. You just can't do no, it. No, I agree. Especially after a horrible season. Of, I mean, come on. Come on. Bro. I agree. You I agree. You can't do that. If he does it against Turkey, if he goes out there and scores against Turkey and he has a good game, then guess what? If, you have a right to talk. If he gets minutes. And you're right. And yeah, if he, yo, if he plays. Yo, Pirlo's going to be like, yo, do me a favor. Don't, just don't play <laughs> he calls him. calls Mancini. He's like, yo, <laughs> like, my girlfriend doesn't want to be wrong, you're bro. You're probably not a really good player, but just don't <laughs> play him. <laughs> bro, Mancini likes Bernadeschi. Yeah, he does. He yeah. likes Bernadeschi. Guess, Some weird aspect the same, to him. They must be from the same region. Nah, Mancini's got this <laughs> weird thing about him, bro. Who, he does the same thing. Who else does he have that he likes, too? We were saying this, too, the other day. He likes oh. some weird players. Oh, Grifo. I feel like he called Grifo. Grifo a bunch of times. I like, I like that he, you know, he tries he to call chances. like different yeah, I do. chances. I like that. But I feel like with, with other players, I don't know. No, I get that. He's like that. Yeah, there's, there's always those, those, those coaches that are weird. Like even Allegri had those guys. Everybody's got that. Even, even like Conte does that. Like he takes some of these like weird players that nobody else would want. But they just like hold such a special place in their heart. I don't know. I don't know what it is about them. Good. Second half. Second half has started, son. Campos score and Notaresco drop points. <laughs> Bernard is going to be captain. Bro, imagine. <laughs> Captain of what? Say that, Not bro. Zurini, maybe. Yeah, he does love Flore Florenzi, too. He has cool tattoos. Florenzi's bro. not terrible, though. Like, I, I understand why you're going to get... He's solid. He's a yeah, solid he, fullback, He should bro. be there. He should be there. Bro. He should be there. People are saying he shouldn't be there. You no, no, he should be there. He should be there. There shouldn't be another talking point. No, no, Yo, he, he should. He should. He played pretty... He had a pretty good season with PSG. That's it. What do you mean? PSG, one of the top teams? Are you saying he doesn't deserve I'm agreeing it? with you, bro. No, I'm just saying if anyone had, like, a doubt that he shouldn't be there. Come on, that's common I don't sense. think he's gonna do great. I think he's not gonna do great, be, but he does. He deserves to be there, bro. He's solid. He's experienced. I think he'll hold hold down uh, that right side. Still can't get over these odds that England are the favorites. A lot of people are saying Lazzari too, Marco. That he didn't get the call. Mm. He probably. You love Lazzari. I don't love him, but I feel like maybe you think about it. But then you know you already have two full uh, right backs. Oh, Campo Basso are pushing. So guys, if you check our Instagram account right now, I'll pop I'll pop the link. We got uh we put Lukaku's four goals. Five goals? Four goals. No, you gotta make an email for that too. Having Berardi as a sub is so nice because we usually don't have great subs in pack. Yeah, I agree. And that's why I feel like Politano would have been great also. I think Mancini messed up. He would have been great off the bench. Um, but yeah, Bernardi's good too. Bernardi's good too. For sure. Mike Copy, thanks for the donation. He said, who's the favorites on getting Donnarumma? Marco, what do you think? Bombolano says a 99.98% chance. You have it, right? <laughs> you have it. Others are saying Barcelona and PSG. Where, where, where do you realistically see him? Could you see him at Juve? Yeah, I can. Do you think that's a favor? Mm, the I, the I problem is like there's, there's really is like there's so much contradiction. There is, right? There's so much contradiction yeah. on like where he's favored to go. I feel like he would rather stay in Italy, though. You know what I think with Donnarumma? I think this what this whole thing wasn't supposed to happen. I think that oh, Campo Basso with a chance. Campo Basso with a shot. Oh, still got it. 
Damn, oh Kamal Mas with a golden opportunity. The goalkeeper with a great kick save. Bro, Momblano's Damn, hilarious with his percentages, son. bro. Momblano is... Yo, points, he's... points, points, right? Yo, everyone, everyone is so serious, though. Like, they get so mad with his yeah. percentages. And I love that he doesn't take shit too seriously. Like, you got to have that aspect of you where you're just, like, you're calm. You know, like, yeah. you mess around with people. You could joke around. And I remember he was saying, like, 0.13%. And I know, listen, listen, I'm not saying Mombano's always right. Obviously not. He got stuff that was wrong, too. But he obviously knows something. Because he had Conte leaving, like, two weeks before everybody, and he got hated on. Yeah. He was putting, he did his, like, funny percentage. He was, like, 97.9% that uh that Conte was leaving. Yeah. When everyone was like, no, he's not leaving. They're calm. So, exactly. like, you got to give credit where credit's due. I'm not saying that you blindly trust him. I don't think you could blindly trust anybody. I think transfer market, besides Roberto oh, Romano. That's true. Roberto Romano, bro, that guy doesn't miss. For he really? doesn't miss. That's the only guy. But it's uh, but all the, the rest, everybody think, else, yo, you don't really every, the transfer market's crazy. Even if you say sure. it's going to happen, bro, last second something can change. 100%. Take everything with a grain of salt. I'm not saying 100%. Was, but but Momblano had you got to give credit where credit's due. He's no, been wrong. Yeah. He's 100 percent been wrong in the been, past. But he's been right for sure. And this this Conte one, he was the first one. Nobody had Conte leaving. He had Conte leaving oh, for sure, for sure. And he had Pirlo leaving too. He had 0.13 percent. Yeah, he's a math funny with that he's stuff. Funny with that. He cracks me up. But dude, you got to uh, the transfer market. There's a billion rumors every day. You know, anything could happen. And the Mercato. The Mercado is such a crazy mom, dude. Anything can happen. But I was gonna say for the Donnarumma, Marco. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I don't. I don't agree. You don't agree. No, I, I don't think. Agree. I think. I don't know what you're gonna I say. Think but Mino, I think Mino. Oh, I thought you were ready because <laughs> no, I was no, saying no, early. I don't. I, th I, just don't I think agree Mino was like, "Yo, Donnarumma, we can get some big cash for you. Trust me. They're gonna. Milan's gonna pay for that. And I feel like Milan just took that bluff and were like, "Yo, screw it." And Donnarumma is a free agent. He, I feel like they screwed themselves up. I think Donnarumma wanted to stay at Milan. They thought they were going to get a big paycheck. They didn't think they'd get another goalkeeper. And Milan were like, you know what? Forget it. We don't want, you know, you guys walking all, walking all over us. And I respect Milan so much by doing this. You know, having their their poster boy that, that's going to be there. The ne Could have been there the next two decades. They would be like, yo, no one's bigger than the club. Uh, you know, piss off. And we're getting another great keeper. For a fraction of the price, that's not gonna be have a crazy agent that's gonna tell us all the time. And you know, Milan bit their tongue and like, okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this. And and I feel like Donnarumma missed a golden opportunity to become something. Like Zlatan said, he could have become Mr. Maldini over there. Yeah, I don't think that. You I don't, I don't that? agree. No. You don't think? No. You think it was planned? Like, yo. I don't like, think it was Mino that was telling him, oh, we'll go get no, more no, money. No, no, regardless of that. But do you think. I think Donnarumma wanted to leave you Milan. Think I think he wanted I, to leave yeah, Milan. Yeah, I disagree. I think yeah. he wanted to stay. He just wanted to see how much money he could get. From and you know why? Like, even if wow. you read the press conference, uh, not press conference, but if you hear what Milan's management was saying today, uh, the ownership. They were like, we have a great relationship with Mino still. So I don't think that it's Dude. as I think that everybody wants to blame, put the blame on Mino because it's much easier because he's done bad stuff in the past because he's an easy person to hate. And I'm not saying you don't have reasons to hate him, but I think that everybody's trying to blame all of their problems on Mino Raiola, where in my opinion, I feel like Donald Roman wanted out and that's it. You honestly believe that quote that the cook, they could say anything. We no, but I, what is that? That I take that in consideration of nothing. You're just saying that just no. Just they keep the relationship but with decent. Do you remember what Sir Alex said about Mino Raiola? Okay, but I'm just saying, just because another it, you're fine. Are, Yo, they speak about agents. All these coaches and ownerships, they hate but the I agents. Don't, but I if think anything, that, if it was bad, they would say something. I take that with less than a grain of salt. Nah, that he it's not one of the ones. It. No, I do. It's not one of the ones. Just because he says in the media that he says, oh, we're still a good relation with me, it does not mean anything to me. Personally. No, it does. Personally. For agents, for agents they, actually like, they actually like saying that kind of stuff. They like, nah, like no. going out and saying against them. When, when it's Paratici saying it about... Pirlo or the coach, okay, that's one thing. Like, I always say that that doesn't mean anything. But when it's the reverse, I'm sure that the relationship is fine. I don't think that they hate him. I think they're just like, yo, whatever. It, like, it is what it is. I think Donnarumma wanted out. I don't think that they'd like him. They're just like, this guy's a pain in the ass. You kind of just got to deal with him. But then no is still up. Because, yo, at the end of the day, I feel like you can't fight with someone like a super agent like Raiola who has other clients over there that you know you're going to deal with in the future. So you can't have that bad blood with, you know? <laughs> Oh, Campo Basso, they go, take baby. the lead. Woo. Look at the fans singing. Let's go. Forza yes. Campo Basso, baby. Go. Forza yes. Yes. Wow. That came out of nowhere, son. Woo.
My man took off his shirt and did the celebration. Let's go. That was a great hat. Like this stream up, boys great and hat. girls and like, everyone watching. Like, robots, subscribe. everybody just freaking Goldfish, like it. Whatever. Woo. Yeah, baby. We needed that. All right. Now, now you know what we need? We need like the word to get to Notaresco that they scored. And, they're you know? and they start, nervous. Ooh, they're getting nervous. They got a little nervous. They were about to start their stream right now because they were feeling <laughs> good, bro. Now they're not starting it. Yes. Uh, abort, abort. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy too because Matt and Nicola are there. I want them to win exactly. so bad when they're there. Matt and Nicola, the part of the ownership of Campo Basso, close friends of ours. They flew out to Italy for this game. And they're there. They're at the stadium watching right now. I, wanna, I, wanna, I really want them to rejoice and, and get a win. I know. I was looking for them, but I haven't seen them. Oh, oh also, I'm thinking uh, the film crew is there. So they caught that. Oh, Our film crew right, is there. So they'll, they'll right. be. Yeah, they're definitely going to be behind the goal for sure. I'm sure they got that celebration. Yeah, it was pretty epic. And sure. fans inside the state. Yo, this is nice, man. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, that was good. 1 0. Let's go. Did you refresh, did you refresh other game? Yeah. Yeah, I've, no? been, oh. I've been. I've been. I've been. Let me I've update been. There's this. There's nothing, bro. Thing. There's nothing. We need that other team. I want to watch it live, though. Ooh, Kambaso again. Cross it back in. Oh, man. Second one will be nice. Oh, man. Foul. By the way, for everyone that's, that's wondering, uh, or maybe you're new over here, we have a, a documentary series with... Uh, with Combo Basso, episode one was already released. I'll, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it on our YouTube channel. I've commented it multiple times today. But uh, that's episode one. Episode two is being filmed at the moment. There's a film crew. We got a film crew at the stadium well, uh, that was speak, flown out was... from New York. Is there? I think we caught him on camera too earlier. We, we, called, we saw Joe filming this entire the episode two is being filmed right now. So we're hoping that they do go to Sedia cheat today so that they'll be uh, actually be able to be there i mentioned before they have this they have this really funny balancing act of they have to be at the stadium once the team would win but then they also want to go to the piazza which is like the town square to get the fans celebrating at the same time and i'm sure outside the stadium they're saying five thousand fans are outside the stadium five thousand at least i'm sure it's gonna grow dude. yeah i'm sure so it's it'll grow. be dope this it's is gonna so be a cool it's gonna be a party i want more goals though time. because that will that will make the episode better like oh, more goals yeah, we'll yeah. get more celebrations 100 percent so that's what I'm hoping for. But and we need to stupid old Tedesco. They, they definitely told them the hype of the, uh, the celebrations when they scored. Uh, they, they better. For this episode. They better, know? bro. That's why I ripped off his shirt. That's what, yo, bro, it's it's just so motivating to to think like that. He to probably told them where to run, too. Maybe there's a camera over <laughs> no, there. It's not that no, scripted, they, bro. I mean, they ran right by the middle. You see where they ran? It's not like they ran to the corner flag. It might be. It might be. They didn't run by the corner flag. They ran like by where midfield was. Also, these apps that have the score of no Tedesco are always wrong. These things are not accurate at all. It might be a like completely different score. Oh, really? Yeah. The last time we had a, such a problem with this, bro, when we were when we were watching the game oh, live damn. with them, it was saying it was literally saying that Notaresco was was winning by two goals and they were down. Their Facebook would probably say Facebook, Facebook, yeah, but they they post so late. It's you, like ten like, minutes really? late, bro. Oh, yeah. Wow. You really got to watch the stream. Like if you're not watching the stream, you kind of just like miss out on yeah. it. Also, I was checking the comments of like the Kamavaso stream mm -hmm. for people here, but they were also getting tricked too. That's weird. Ooh, nice little dummy. Come on, I let's get see a second you, goal, boy. If Notaresco wins today, what does Kamavaso have to do to get promoted? I believe that's it. They just need another win need, after. I th yeah, I think it's just a win next game yeah. that they play, and they automatically get promoted. Yeah. We're just saying for early promotion. Wait, this is just to get it earlier. Yeah, Let's exactly. get it earlier. I think they would just need to win their next game and they're good. I mean, yeah. Come on, Vasto Girardi. Think about it. They would need two points if they drop. Oh, wait. One point. They would need two points. Yeah, so a win. Yeah, a draw wouldn't be win. enough, so yeah. they just need a win. Yeah, yeah. okay. And Quick then, maths. Or if they drew, if Notaresco drew and they drew, yeah, but, but I'm whatever. Saying, yeah. I hate those calculations, man. Yeah. You go crazy with that. <sighs> Come on. I feel it today, man. I feel today has got to be the day. We're alive. Yeah. We're excited. It's We're pumped. We got people there. This is the moment. This is the moment. I want I want uh I want Matt and the ownership to be live when they get promoted. Dude, right I want to see the videos of the city erupting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. those are the best. Yeah, those, those are, are so the best. good. Man. I agree. I, I agree. love that stuff. 
I want to see like the old men crying and like all that kind of stuff. Oh, I can't wait till you guys see the jersey, man. So hype. Nice, go, 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 go. And they and Esposito's not here. Yeah, and, I think he's uh, hurt. And Bonta is not there too. Yeah, the they're not playing a lot of their guys, yeah. which is good. Which is good. Yeah, we only need a, a a draw. We only need one goal from Vasto Girardi and Cambasso. And as long as Cambasso wins, they'll be crowned champions of Serie D and promoted to Serie C. Vasto Girardi. That's like something like shit, man. Bro, oh my God, hit the referee. Ooh, don't don't they blow it? No. What's wild is like, you know, we're obviously, we act as fans uh, for our, you know, we want results, we want wins. But what's really weird is like, we've obviously been very close to the ownership group. We we're watching games with them last week. And it's very interesting to see like, it's crazy to think how much money, how much is on the line, how much dedication has gone into just a ball crossing a line. Hmm. And it's so different than just being a fan. Like, obviously, you know, this fans of Juventus, Milan, Inter, you know, you want your team to win, otherwise your weekend's ruined. For some of these, for for an ownership, you want this win because, you know, you got to make wages. You got to, you're trying to get promoted. You've invested tons of money. It's just a different feeling, like, when the ball goes into the back of the net or when, like, the team loses or something oh, happens. for sure. It's been very interesting to watch that. There's so much back end. You get you get some insight like into imagining for some of these teams, and then imagine you know a Champions League or a Serie A or a title. Hundred percent. It's got to be crazy. Angelo Mancini. It's a common last name, Mancini, man. Yeah, it's one of the most common. Is this team on Football Manager? I don't know. Maybe next yeah, year. I don't play. I'm not sure. City Chiefs where everything gets stepped up. Oh, for sure. Well, what, is there a change? Well, look at Cudini, the coach over there, going crazy. Great hair on this team. <laughs> Lots of great hair. I keep refreshing. Stupid no Tedesco, man. They didn't even put the stream on, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mancini is coming in. Brenchi. Damn, they still won zero up, man. Oh, Esposito's coming in. Oh, he's coming in? Oh, boy, yeah. With you the, hear the crowd? With the, with the bun, with the man bun. He's Did coming in. you hear the in. crowd? They're yeah, going yeah, crazy. Of course. I suppose it does like the he's beast. The man. Yeah, we'll be Let's doing go. watch alongs for the Euros, of course. Of course. They, they'll probably be crazy. They're probably going to be really hectic. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for the watch alongs. What's up, Maria? How you doing, Maria? We've never done it for Italy before in a tournament. No, damn. Yeah, the last one didn't qualify. Yeah. And the last time we, we did a reaction video, like we're, but it was like pre recorded. Yeah. And it was edited afterwards. That's going to be crazy. Italy hits different. It's a different type of celebration. Especially like, I mean, World Cup will be crazy. World Cup. That's yeah. like that's like the top of the top top top, so. top 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 Ooh. top top shit that oh no foul great call ref great call foul. that was definitely foul but it's fine oh that's a, foul. That's a yellow yeah nah, yellow he was just mad you were just emotional bud Jeez, that was a nice little turn by he him, was just huh? mad why are you mad though <laughs> you mad. they gotta do the FIFA celebration dude <laughs> the crying one <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they score how crazy would that be I keep refreshing That'd this stupid hilarious. team is still one zero up. Maria, you never got your jacket? I'll check for you after the, after the stream. I know everybody got their stuff. Everybody was sending us messages that they got their stuff.
Temple Boss will get the foul over here. Still 1 0 in this North Tedesco game. I mean, they're not playing a good team. No. They're not. It's a 12th place team. Just need to hope that they choke. That's it. Oh, Marco Mallorca. He got his Kamabasa shirt. There we go. Nice. Mark, what do you think is going to be the Capo Canonieri for Italy in the Euros from Patrick? Oh. I mean, I would hope that it would be what's his name. <laughs> it would be Immobile. <laughs> If you had a bet at your house, what would you put? <laughs> like you're not shaking your head. You're like disgusted. <laughs> oh, I'll say Insignia. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Insignia, I'll say Insignia. That's a safe bet. Is a new merch sold out already? Our merch, no. Our merch goes on goes live June 11th, 12 p.m. Eastern time. June 11th, the, the day of the match, the day of the Italy match. Oh, that's a foul. Yes, good call, Raf. I like this, Raf. Damn, come on. I want promotion today. I want promotion today. We all do, man. I don't I got Insignia. I mean, you could tell. Who's yours, Mike? Yeah, I think Insignia is probably the same. But I'm just going to say, I'll say Immobile just, just for a good faith. <laughs> so, Chiruzzo. Chiruzzo, I have faith in you, bro. Prove the mass is wrong. Ooh. Yes, I really agree with that. So happy the the gold numbers are back. I was thinking that when I saw the jerseys, they're amazing. They're amazing. Gold and Italy go like so well together. I in two thousand six, like having the gold numbers, the let, letters, uh, numbers, it just made everything look so much nicer. They there's, fit so well on the a lot Azzurro of responsibility kit. with that gold now. I'm calling it Italy's winning the World Cup in 2026 in the States. Jeez. Damn. I hope you're right. We Maria. definitely be that game, right? <laughs> I am. We got to be that. Uh, hopefully we're on the field. We weren't we were uh, around when Italy was in the World Last time World Cup was in the United States, 1994. My whole family went. We're negative one. Yeah. My dad was there. My grandparents went. We missed it by brothers, year. Brothers, sisters. Damn. Yeah. Pauly was there too. I remember. Pauly yeah, he went right. Story over here. Yeah. Oh wait, did he or did he not go? Oh, I feel like his mom didn't want him to go. Maybe oh, yeah. that was the story. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> big, <laughs> big up. little detail, minor detail, but big part uh, of the yeah, outcome. He, he tells a lot of stories, so I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I think he didn't go. Oh, oh God. no. Shoot. Can we also concede on the corner? Crap. One one. What's the goalkeeper doing? You gotta come out and punch that. Oh, yeah. That's not they good. also packed the box. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, they, they did. packed There's like the 50 box. Fifty people in there. Oh man, damn man, damn man! The goalkeeper was there too. No, no, no. He ran to celebrate. Oh, all right. Jeez. Fino all the fino over here. You gotta fight until the end. It's a lot of time. Yeah, there is. I think it's over twenty minutes. Yeah, twenty minutes. It's like seventieth minute. Ah, oh, the problem is you don't get a replay on this. That's true. I'm waiting for it, but I got to go on there. I can rewind on their channel. Who needs replay when you're going to get that good rewind button, right? Yeah, let's see. Is there I'm pretty sure it's a, uh, it was a goalkeeper, bro. There's not like back 10 seconds. You got to like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you can do it like that, right? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Gosh. Oh, wow. There we go. Here. Yeah, look. Number one, everyone was packed inside yeah, the box yeah, over here. Right. But, yo, goalkeeper stands on his line, bro. Yeah, maybe he should have came out yeah, a little no, bit. 100%, he he bro. Right How you, line. Yo, come out. You got to be out a little bit. I, that shouldn't have gone in. You probably could have tipped Also, it. defending was pretty poor from this guy. Yeah. Bro, he, he, he put his head down. Look. Yeah, he didn't defend no, properly. No, no, he didn't no, guard no, no, him. No, no. That's two mistakes right there. What is that sound? Sounds like the wildlife over there. Still the same uh, score with Notaresco, Marco? That you see? Yeah, 1-0. Okay. So right now, 
Campobasso don't get promoted with this result. To reify Campobasso need a win and Notaresco have to drop points. So they're still up one zero. For the people that are asking. Listen, at the end of the day, forget Notaresco. We gotta win today. We gotta win. Because you win, then the next game you win, and you don't even need to worry about Notaresco. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If Camabas go to Serie who can you see as their coach? <laughs> oh, my God. By that time, by that time, maybe Pirlo is going to be a great coach. <laughs> by the time well, they go Mourinho. to Serie A. I... No, nah, bro. Why the hell would you want Mourinho? Antonio would like it, no? No. You don't like Mourinho? Not in 10 years when they get to Serie A. Yo, that guy's already outdated right now, bro. He's not. We're not taking him out, Kamabasa. Maybe he'll uh, nah. update his philosophy. Nah. Why not? Nah. We have somebody nice and young. If we're gonna go old, bro, we're, we're taking like Ancelotti or something, bro. <laughs> By that time, Conte, bro, he's definitely gonna have ruined his relationship at every club. Maybe he'll finally he'll change be and be normal. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then we can take out Kamabasa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, Buffon. Buffon said he was a fan of Kamabasa growing up, which is wild. Gotta convince him to grab him. Maybe the Director Sportive over there, right? That'd be interesting. Are uh, you watching uh, the fight later, Mike? The fight? The yeah. Mayweather fight? Yeah. Um. Yeah, if it's not too late. I thought it was going to be late first, but you were saying. They, they said it's eight. Today. I mean, By eight, that means that all the other stupid fights start. Ocho Cinco is fighting. Oh, did you know Ocho Cinco oh, yeah, is start fighting? That. Wait, wait, wait. But that's eight wild. Th- you said the final starts at eight. I don't know. I saw it said eight, but I know it's earlier than usual. Oh, it says yeah. eight. But... I asked you, was like, that's when the fight starts? Like, yeah. Bro, but every time they say when the fight but starts, I... you know that that never means. They write all the time that the fight starts at eight. But I. It's I, the same thing all the time, bro. They oh, always yeah. write that the fight starts. But I said that one in particular. Yes, and it oh, says it says it a, starts at eight. It's like fucking midnight, bro. I'm probably gonna fall asleep. We got we got stuff to do for ITV in the morning, bro. We can't be. At least I can. No, I don't I think can't it's gonna do midnight, that bro. It's usually like it's always like an hour or two after they say it. It's gonna probably be eleven or twelve. It's gonna be around there, eleven thirty maybe. I was I heard, but it's a Sunday, so they probably had to push it up more. And it's on the East Coast. It's it's in Miami. So uh, it can't be too late. Sunday, you can't be that late. Oh no! What do you mean? That's worse if it's an East Coast. No, that's not. later for us. Yes, no, it's, it's it's our time zone. It's Miami. Oh, East, my bad. I, I was thinking. I was thinking Mass West. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You have a point on that. But no, those fights always go. Yeah. I, I feel like it's the thing is, 11. it's a Sunday. It's not a Saturday or a Friday. So it might actually be. I feel like we say this every time. No, no. I'm, I'm the one that always pushes know. against it. I just feel like it's always the same case. All I know is, yo, if Mayweather doesn't win this, I that's so wild. Shocked. That was wild. He's, he's 50, probably he's 50 and 0, isn't he? Yeah, or 49 but this doesn't all? count as a loss, you know that? Because it's a different sport. What is it? It's not a MMA different sport. The, it's an ex- exhibition. Oh, is that why? It's the same sport. Does he but do boxing he's not or counting. Does he do... No, he no, does no, boxing. It's boxing. And he's no not counting this on his record. Oh, I wasn't sure. It, there's no winner or loser unless they, there's a knockout. But there's still no winner or loser. Oh damn! So my man's getting that bag, and he can. Yeah. Whatever. Smart. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Where can I watch the common boxing game? The link is in the top of the description. I can't believe you guys did an interview with Cannavato. Watch it yesterday. So sick. Thanks, Joey. Yeah. My man Fabio on that. Yo, 76 minutes. El Tedesco's still up. <sighs> Come on. Cannavato. Yeah, Wait, we just need Cannavato to win. That's it, bro. Forget, forget this stupid El Tedesco. If you guys hear like a like a bird sound in the back, it's probably like a, the birds of Molise, right? <laughs> Cheering cheer on uh, the Luffy. The, I think the referee is mad that they're... Are they wasting time? She ran over to him to say something. Uh, they probably would waste time. These guys, their their win is like stopping Kamabasa from winning. These small teams, bro, they play the game of their lives against... Unbelievable. It's like just like Serie A, you know. They, it's like Benevento, bro. They'll, they'll beat Juve or something, and then they'll get relegated, and they're just like happy. They're just like, all right, whatever. We did that. We're good. Reminds me of... Uh, the- we went the other day where I don't want to say the team name. It was like, we'll make sure we'll beat that team. And that's all that matters. I don't know what you're talking about. Where when, were we? When, when, when we went out with Peter, uh-huh. who was saying, I was like, we'll be sure. If I was owner of that club, I'll be sure we, uh, we get that win. And that's all that matters. I don't even know like, oh, that's, that's the problem. We're with Peter in this backyard. <laughs> 
You don't remember? I'll tell you. <laughs> Think for a second, bro. We talk about if I was owner of that club. And we got that win. Oh, like, it starts with a P? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got go. you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, bro, what kind of mentality? <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. Guys, send my greetings to Antonio. I lived in body for two years. Nice. Yo, it's funny. We ran into two IFTV fans uh, yeah. on our uh, sh photo, photo shoot. shoot yesterday. Yeah. One was from body. Actually. One was from body, and he loves Antonio. Yeah. But he was calm about, he was calm about uh, Notaresco. Uh, sorry. He was calm about, uh, <laughs> sorry. I got other stuff in mind. He was calm about Casano. He wasn't saying like Casano's like the greatest. Wonder how it is in body. What are you guys saying? One one. No, Teresa. Nah, it's not one one. Unfortunately, not. Cabo Basso attacking. Oh, there we go. Send it. Send it. Oh, okay. Nice cross, but goalkeeper got it. Uh, it says 1-1 one, one on our screen. should say 1-1. One, one. Oh, maybe I didn't update it. Oh, shit. Why? I thought they were talking about the Notaresco game. It is one one. Shit. Sorry guys. I thought they were talking about the other game, that's why I didn't notice. I kept refreshing but nobody's Sorry about that. Come on, Campo Basso leads the way. <laughs> Ale, Ale. Sorry guys, fix the thing. I forgot. I was a little down now that they scored and I don't want to believe that it was tired. It's wild to follow this, bro. I can't wait till they said he's cheating. It's going to be so much easier. <laughs> Mark has like 35 tabs open. My Shut head is spinning, score. bro. Shut up on the scores. Let's go. What happened at your job, Maria, yesterday? Oh, there's a, this thing, Rye Molisa. They They're actually it? putting updates. Oh. They're Probably more updates. up to date, though, right? Come on, Campo Boss was knocking on the door, but they gotta. They gotta do it, man. Yeah, this thing, they're still up, though. Shoot, man. Eightieth minute, I say. Eightieth already. Ten more minutes, Marco. I, I I don't know. All I know is I feel like they told them, listen, it'll be fun if they score at the end and get the reactions on, you know, for the episode two. So it's a nice late winner. Palom asking, uh, Kamabasa for sure going to. Uh, sorry, Harris saying, is this the last? No, sorry, I was right. Palom did say, are Kamabasa for sure getting this promotion this season? It's like ninety nine percent. So it could happen today. They would have to win, and then uh, Notaresco, who's the second place team, can't win, or they win today and then they just win next week and they'll be in. Ninety nine point nine. What do you say? Like Montblanc? No, ninety nine. Regular ninety nine. Ninety nine point zero. That's it. Straight. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Gaetano Moschetti. Suffering is part of our DNA. Welcome to the pack, guys. Come on, come on, Wolves. <laughs> I do like the Lupo. I like how it's the Lupo. Yeah. I just want Common Boss to win at this point. I really don't care about this other stupid team, no Tedesco. They can do whatever they want. Can you but yo, how crazy would it be if if they do like if this ends like in the last second, you know, one goal in Common Boss game, one goal in the No oh, Tedesco? Bro, oh, that the would scenes. be wild. The scenes. That would be wild. Repping the Combo Boss hoodie in thirty degree. Degree weather. I'm assuming you mean Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, Celsius. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> it's very hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, we'll be live for all the Euro games for sure. Come on, Campo Basso. 
Campo Basso all the way. They don't want to do it while Antonio has a game. I think that's it. They're scared about that. Ale. Ale. Do we have the... Do we have, like, the sheet of what he wrote? Oh, yeah. I think it's in the draw. It's in the draw. Yeah. This guy looks like he writes with his freaking feet. <laughs> Even though I can't really talk. Yeah, you're right. Pretty My, bad, mine's pretty bad. Like, really fast. El campo maso se ne va. In direction es seria. El campo maso se ne va. Es en eva. El campo maso se ne va. It's hard to read, man. Con maricete se ne va. In direction es seria. Look, he writes three A's to make sure that he spaces it out. Say that next part. That's my favorite part. Es en eva. El campo maso se ne va. Con chirinchones se ne va. In direction es seria. Es en eva. La capolista se ne va. Con Batten Daniel es en eva. In direction es en eva. Es en eva. See ya. Right, that guy's hilarious. Yo, Remember if you see how he wrote it, then we just said it at that. Yeah. Bro, if you see the way he wrote that, like, look how he writes. Look, it's in va. He writes three yeah, A's three so he knows A's to so drag it out. Come on, Esposito. Tirachi. Oh, what? Man, what? what a no, don't put the ball out. Don't put the ball out. Let that guy stay on the ground. Oh, no penalty. Damn, man. How the hell didn't they score? How didn't Esposito score on that one? Indirecciones sería. Bro, put that guy out, man. Forget about it. Joey said, I swear, 70% of IFPB fans are from Toronto. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's fine. It's a lot That's of, so a lot of, we love it. A lot of, we got to go up there it. one day, man. I love it. Try the maple syrup and stuff. I, yo, get this guy off the pitch, man. Less than 10 minutes, right, Marco? Huh? Less than 10 minutes left. Yeah, man. They got to make this good for the film, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> 93rd yo. minute. Yo, how good would that add to episode two? Oh, if if this ended in the 90th minute, oh, one goal yeah, from yeah. Vasto Girardi. I mean, that's a movie. This is a movie that's if that would happen. <laughs> it's going to be a movie. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a movie. One of our boys says that. Does Max say that? Yeah, Max says that. Uh, why don't you say the name? I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't sure if he knew. I'm like, clarify. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right, Harris watching. Oh, this team got a red card. Are you serious? No, oh, man. What's oh, the team called gosh. again? Vasto Girardi. I feel like that's like a curse word. A red card, Vasto Girardi. <laughs> Are you making fun of my culture? <laughs> You're from there? <laughs> My Italian culture, <laughs> my language. Vasta Girardi. Two subs in for Camavaso. Come on, Cudini. Angelo Morena. Hi, guys. I'm from Camavaso and I support the team, obviously. Forza Lupi. Nice. Awesome. Let's hope. Let's yes, hope yeah, they can yeah, they can do it today. But if not, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we yeah, space yeah. that out a little bit, right? Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot wrong with that. When I still want the win. <laughs> Obviously, bro. I can't believe this team got to yell. Just like we're talking now, about, so. not you know. There's always gonna be struggles and stuff. Not everything's gonna go their way. We just gotta get this win. Kamavasa just gotta win. Like I said, forget about Notaresco. If it happens, it happens. You got to focus on yourself. Oh, it's 2-0. No. No, that's what scored their second goal. Uh, apparently. We'll that's, what the, that's what it says. So as it stands, 
Campo Basso will not get p- be promoted today. Damn. We will have to hold the celebrations, hold the champagne till next fixture, which is, I believe, in a couple of weeks. Come on. Come on, let's get this win. Let's get this win. Come on, Loopy. Oh my gosh. D Domenico Antonio is good. Mouthful too, curse right? Of the, curse of the commentator. Damn, they really scored 2 0. Does the uh, update say that? They didn't put it on Facebook. Let's see if I can find it on Twitter. No, it doesn't say it here. Let's see the common boss will comment section. Yeah, they're saying 2 0, not that it's The comments over here. It seems like they're doing another sub right now. Yo, we're very close to Coney Island. We're super close. Go there all the time. Come on, come Come This other team is not good, man. <laughs> Angelo is saying this team played like Cagliari against Milan. That's so true. <laughs> hey, and Milan qualified in the end, so hopefully, same thing <laughs> for Kamabasso. But yeah, it's so true, man. These teams, I hate these little teams. I can't stand them. Just can't stand them because they only try to play like one good game a year. Two good games a year. You know, it's like they get so motivated against the top teams, but then they play like easy teams. But listen, it wasn't meant to be. We didn't have all the boys over here for for the stream. That's true. We didn't have everybody here. We still are enjoying... Listen, it builds to the narrative. It'll add to the episode. Listen, this is the drama. We're, we're, they're going to capture the drama. Our, our team in Italy will capture the drama. And then hopefully the next next match, then they're able to. They're pretty defensive. I mean, I haven't seen the other team go up at all. No, they, they haven't even been in the opposition's they, half. They, they definitely parked the bus. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. So does it show what the next game is there, Marco? Yes, sir. A lot of times they change the schedule too. Yeah, they change now, the schedule like yeah. crazy. And... It says the 13th, but I think that game's going to get pushed. It could get pushed. I don't know. It says the 13th. That would be if not, next then the 16th. Week, right? Yeah. Yeah, most likely pushed. God damn. Sunday, next Sunday. Oh, oh my gosh. Kamabazo, Big chance. Well, wide. These guys in Otaresco still didn't even post that there's 2 0. They should lose the goal just for that. <laughs> I think that's how it works, no? If you don't post on social media, it didn't happen. Right? That's true. Yeah, that they you say? might have a point. Maybe their internet connection went down. Who knows? Listen, guys, we also have the Scarito uh, linked. It's uh, our Euro Fantasy Predictor. Uh, I have it. I have it linked at the top on uh, fa- on YouTube, guys. You can go and click it and join our Fantasy Predictor. So you come on and. Uh, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna do this thing where you ju- you choose the scores of each match, also top goal scorers, winner of the tournament, all that kind of stuff. Oh, Ooh, I thought they were gonna get it. They're gonna get it. So the link is at the top of the description. 
It's our Euro game. And if you guys like this stuff, if you like the fantasy aspect, um, we'll you know we'll do this for for other stuff. We'll probably do it for Serie A or for something more. Oh, for sure. So let's see. Let's see if you guys like it. And for the people that are saying for the our drop, it's happening when Italy play uh, Turkey. We have the mailing list. Make sure to sign up for a mailing list. Also in the description. Check that out. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a dope drop, Marco. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. And you, I'm sure a lot of you go. If you guys saw our Instagram stories, um, we were doing the photo shoot around Brooklyn. Yeah, for the Euros, we should have everybody here. That's normal. Yeah. The I problem mean, is there's stupid games on Sunday. I mean, the times are standard, right? 2.45? So it should be good. Nah, there's like no time left. What is it? Saying 90 Stoppage? plus. Stoppage? Yeah, probably a couple minutes of extra time. That's it. Damn. This is what it is. The party gets has to get pushed at least one more week. Come on. Oh, that's so good. Play! We had the ball. Yo, just send it in, man, please. 3 0, not that Esco. 3. Jesus. Stupid team. Yeah, that's it. So I'm turning that off. Three zero. So Cam Boss are probably gonna need a, a win next game. Yeah. Come on, boys. Oh my god, they hit the ball out. I'm not sure if this is updated, but it's still saying it's six point difference between Cambaso and uh and Otaresco. Which is still pretty big. Yeah. The two big games, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if they needed five points before, they need four points now. Right? And let me try to do the math. <laughs> yeah, if they needed five points before, they got one now. So they need four points. So however that comes. So whether okay, so they will need a win and and again, same thing. Uh, it's literally yeah, the same they, exact they, result. Drop yeah, nothing really changes. Yeah, okay, yeah. They need no Tedesco to not win the next game again. Okay, so it's a, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. Same thing, same thing. It should be. It should be the same thing. Oh man. Probably game gonna finish any second now. Unless they could grab a late one, man. That would. Ah, uh, is that it? Uh, damn. I'm telling you, the, the referee is telling him not to waste time. She keeps running over and <laughs> saying something. Card him already. Yeah, seriously. Of course they're gonna waste time. Come on. Maybe one more chance. Maybe one more opportunity. I'll go up. Go forward. Go forward. Oh. Oh. Cogliatti. Go. Oh. Ah, didn't pass through. Corner. Yo, come on. Send the keeper. No, no. Don't send the keeper. No, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> That's more. Yo, could be, could be. This would add such good drama. That's this would add such good drama. The videography come on. right now. Come on, Camo Basso. Come on, come on, come on. Di Domenico Antonio sends the ball in. No, oh, right to the man. keeper. I was hoping what happened on uh, their goal. They should have packed the box. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the referee's not looking at to blow the whistle though. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
<gasps> oh boy. That scared me. Yo, just kick it out, man, please. Pen the camera. Pen the camera. Come on. Come on. One last chance. One last chance. A late goal would be so fun. Come on, I suppose you thought die. That's gotta be a foul. That's gotta be a foul. Yes, it was given. Come on. One last opportunity for Camo Basso. No, don't play it short. Come on. Corner. Oh, no. Oh! Uh, come on! Shot from outside. Come, come on, come come on, on. Camo Basso. Uh, oh, damn, that might be it. That was like a movie. It's going to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it is a movie, technically. <laughs> Come on, keeper. Let the ball go. Just give us the ball. Not that I still hasn't posted. <laughs> Bro, they should lose automatically. Wi-Fi is down. Come on. Come on. This was Yo, it's still time, bro. Oh, there we go. No, no, don't shoot it. No, uh, don't shoot it, man. Oh, it's a corner. It's a corner. Uh, Yo, this is it. This is it. Combasso to score and win. Is that a supposed to take in? Yes. Let us supposed to take it. Come on, Combasso. Let's get this win. Let's get this win. We want three points. This will be so dramatic and fun. Send the ball in. Where's Cogliatti? Come on. Uh, corner? Goal kick, I think. Okay. Yeah. Crap. I like the referee though. He's trying to give us <laughs> until Kamabasa scores. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they just said the commentator just said Mancano Quattro Punti. So four points. But he also said she's about to blow her whistle. Send it up. Yeah, we'll go just kick it forward, man. Um Come on. Come on. Come on. Here it is. Cross. <laughs> no! Oh no! No! Oh no, it's a corner? God. They stopped that? That's a corner? It looked like a miss. Bro, oh my. I ruptured a freaking... Oh Come on. Let's get this. Come on, It's coming. It's coming. Come on. Still there. Shoot. Oh, Penalty. Dude. Rigore. Is that a corner? Another corner. Yeah. Yo, this got to come. Holy this has crap. to come. Come on, Camavasso. Please. Corner? Yo, just That's cross the ball in. No short corners. Another no corner. short corners. Is, cross is, it. We're going to be the last Let's chance. go, Camavasso. Come on. Come on. Come Let's on. score this. Let's win this right now. For the fans. For the loopy. Crosser! Oh. Hey! Ref! Nah, Ref! Crap. He got taken down! He got taken down! No? Damn, full time. Game. That's a whistle, guys. Oh, man. Oh, how did they score there? Bro, they had three big chances. Oh, my. I ruptured something in my throat, wow, bro. Wow, that was crazy. Damn. Guys, Campo Basso. Damn. Ends the game with a draw. Notaresco ends up winning. It wasn't meant to be today. Celebrations around pause. It's going to get pushed till next fixture where Bro, the thought, same I scenario has to happen. Campobasso has to win and Notaresco has to drop points. Damn. Nah, that was so close. That wasn't a pun. That wasn't. Well, that was so close. I want to see this Jeez. Rossetti. That was a big miss. But it was a corner. I didn't. I, I mean, yeah, they gave it as a corner. I don't know they gave that as a corner. It was by himself. Here it is. That's it? Yeah, this is going to be it. Oh, my God. Oh, the goalkeeper hit it? Where? Yes, the goalkeeper hit it. He hit it right at him, bro. How does it see that? Watch, bro. Look with your eyes. It hit the goalkeeper's foot. Uh, Shit. That's why. It, didn't look, it looked like he missed if it. If he puts it on any corner, yeah, if he puts it on, on any corner, it's in. Damn. It's in automatically. It's in automatically. 
That was big. It was on target, but it wasn't good enough. Guys. Thanks for joining us today, guys, that, that were watching the game. We'll wait till next time. Hopefully, they get promoted uh, next fixture. But thanks for joining us, guys. We, we said the second episode is being filled right now in Molise. So, a Listen, lot of celebrations to come. It's unfortunate. We wanted it to happen today. We weren't able to get it. Uh, I, hopefully, next week, there, there actually is a game on the 13th. Which uh, maybe that's a one. Pushed. Maybe that's a one. I appreciate everybody that has stayed with us uh, on this live stream. Make sure you like, like, and 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 subscribe if you're new over here. Uh, great watch party. The next one, I'm telling you, we'll we'll have everybody over here and we'll we'll have like a really fun time and a good time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Download Scorito app and come join us on our fantasy game. It'll be super fun. You guys will enjoy this big time. Uh, so let's do that. Guys, we'll see you soon. Forza Camavaso. Forza Lupi. We'll see you soon.